attachments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our studio store. All of this for £119.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. Did you know you can purchase incredible jewellery featuring genuine gemstones on our sister channel Gems? Come along and see what treasures you can find. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. How are you? Uh, I'm very, very excited to be here. Actually, very excited. We are doing designer inspiration, uh, which I absolutely love because I'm quite new to Jewelry Maker uh, and all the amazing things that you can do. I get really excited about some of the things that we can make, and we are doing amazing perspex today, which. I didn't really know too much about. We are with the lovely Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Uh, and she's going to be able to tell us everything that we can do, um, which is really cool. Because um, when you look at, I think when you look at Perspex a little tiny bit, you saw it looks a little bit daunting, I think, because we've got, um, we've got lots of sort of equipment and all those different things to create all these amazing designs. But actually, when I started to sort of research it and have a real look, if you are new to it like me, do go and have a look and see all the different things you can do, because you can make sort of real statement jewellery total fashion jewellery. Uh, when you look at it on the catwalks, you do sort of see all these sort of really sort of massive pieces of jewellery. When it hits the high streets, it's like a downsized version, but it's still real statement jewellery. But you can also do really intricate designs as well. So it's so, so versatile. It doesn't have to be jewellery. can be, um, what we were saying, Hannah, we were saying we can do mobiles, yeah. we can do door hangings, we could do sort of um, things any, for handbags. Yeah, any sort of artistic um, home decor pieces as well. Anything really. It's really exciting all the different things that you can do so really really versatile things so uh, I'm very very excited to get started on these uh, so we've got some amazing deals as well some amazing deals so if you are new to it you can get started or uh, you can also sort of build your uh, collection if you have got some already and uh, all the things that we're bringing to you, all the Perspex sheets that we're bringing to you are brand new as well. So that's amazing. Brand new colours. Uh, so yeah, you won't have them already. So add them to your collection for sure. Add them to your collection. Uh, all right. Amazing things. Yeah. Let's have a look. Ooh, yes. Let's have a look. Ooh, this side. Yes. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, let's do these. Wow. Oh my goodness, so amazing. Okay, I love these colours. These colours look brilliant together. Oh, they would look, obviously, you could use them separately, but they do go ever so well together. They're really bright, really vibrant, really gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. So we've got a wonderful orange, we've got the green in there, wonderful sunshine yellow, and that beautiful, beautiful pink. 
Now this is, uh, we've got your uh, shell plane round, so how gorgeous are they? Uh, the fact that they're sort of uniformed in their size and shape is perfect, but the fact that they're such bright, bright colours, really sort of, uh, really lovely. Yeah, perfect for, perfect for kind of any sort of season. We've got a lot of the autumnal colours there. Maybe you want to add a bit of yellow with that as well. That's perfect for autumn coming up. Uh, if you want a bit of sort of a flash of fun, then we've got that wonderful hot pink there as well. So we've got hot pink, light green, orange and yellow on there and they are all plain rounds uh, they are six millimeter pearl round look at them i love the pearlescence that comes off it got a really kind of beautiful shimmer coming off the side of those that pink is really bright isn't it lovely they all look wonderful together as i said and and good that they're all sort of uniformed um, because you can use them in your designs and sort of create a uniform design or if you want to use them separately obviously that's nice and easy too uh, so wonderful hot pink Beautiful sunshine yellow, that lovely green, which is, yeah, which is a really lovely green, almost like a metallic colour coming off that. And also we've got that wonderful orange as well. Like I say, very autumnal colours if you are looking for more autumn jewellery to sort of create and make and wear. Um, or that if you're just after bright colours. Absolutely lovely so hot pink light green orange and yellows in there really beautiful really really stunning and like i say when it hits hits the light it looks really really wonderful really wonderful beautiful colors in there really stunning colors okay so the price the price that it should be for all of these is 1280 wow okay so 12 for four strands as well for four strands, so you do get all four, and we should be at Is that what, um, Helena, is that if you would buy these individually? Yes, so if you would, if you would buy them, sort of buy that one, then that one, they would be 1280, that would be a price 1280. Um, they are lovely, and obviously we're not gonna stop there because we are doing them all together, so we're gonna bring them to you for a great deal. It is bank holiday after all. Nine pounds and 95 pence for you. Nine pounds and 95 pence. A wonderful, wonderful saving there for you. Beautiful colors. That really hot pink is really fabulous. Wonderful autumnal colors coming through. The greens and the oranges and a lovely yellow there as well. Um, like I say, really sort of perfect if you're making uniform jewelry, but you sort of uh, want all those different colors because they do look perfect, perfect together. Nine pounds and 95 pence for all of them. Loving all those colors. Really, really pretty. Uh, and the fact that they've got all that sort of lovely, lovely sort of what looks Looks like pearl essence off them so you've got yellows greens and pink sort of light pinks coming off of here this green is really lovely almost metallic color and sunshiny yellows as well as that really bright orange color so they look lovely lovely together or maybe if you want to use them separate it's totally totally up to you um, and lots of you there already fabulous stuff so yes why not kickstart yourselves uh, with these wonderful shell rounds really really lovely and Christine Andrea uh, Kate as well Florence Lynn Linda Suzanne fabulous Love that, that is so, so gorgeous. Loving all those colors. Perfect for autumn coming up if you are sort of getting nice and prepared to do those. So yes, there we go. Lovely. Let's carry on, shall we? Let's do, ooh, okay. So carrying on, carrying on with a similar sort of theme with a beautiful pearl. I'm actually a massive, a massive, massive fan of pearls. Uh, and I think because, um, because they are these sort of epitome of elegance, aren't they? The Queen has worn them, Audrey Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe. If you are looking at elegance, this is the most perfect gemstone for it, the most perfect gemstone. Uh, we've got a few coming up as well, which would look really, really lovely together, really lovely together. Uh, now, these are your cream cultured boutique pearls. Uh, so really, really lovely, lovely color coming off them, catching those pinks and purples, lovely as well. So beautiful drilled cultures Baroque pearls. They're 10 by nine millimeters sort of roughly as well. Um, and they are really a beautiful, beautiful color, uh, sort of purity that will go with anything really. Lovely with sort of deep tones as well, or maybe bright colors. Uh, so really, really pretty. And like I say, we've got some more coming up, but they really are the epitome of elegance, aren't they? If you are looking at these pieces and wanting to make jewelry for maybe special occasions or just want to sort of add a touch of glamour to your sort of pieces, then I think pearls are the way to go, aren't they? They, they have their moments in fashion. Obviously, they have their moments in fashion. They were sort of massive in the 20s, brought back again when they sort of brought the Great Gatsby film back. Um, but they will never, ever go out of style, never. Like I say, the Queen has worn them all the way through her reign. In fact, actually, I think she's worn the same 
same pearls all the way through her reign. So they are sort of a gemstone that will be, a, you can wear them all the time, sort of day after day after day if you want to. Maybe save them for special occasions because they are pearls, but it's totally, totally up to you. But they are the absolute epitome of elegance. Like I say, of all the people that you wear, you sort of think of those people and you do think of sophistication and glamour and they're such red carpet pieces, aren't they? So really, really perfect, beautiful, beautiful pearls. I love them. I love, love pearls. Really, really beautiful. And as I say, we've got some more coming up as well. All slightly different, maybe slightly different colours as well. So they're going to look beautiful together. There's people multi-buying already. I don't blame you. Okay, so well done for you. Absolutely multi-buying. We're going to do an amazing, amazing deal for you at just $7.95 for pearls. $7.95 for pearls. Really incredible, beautiful cream colour. They are sort of very warming, aren't they? The whites can be sort of very strong in colour, but the cream are very, very warming in colour. Uh, and they really are absolutely elegant, aren't they? But the thing about this colour is they will go with anything. The sort of tones of your white and black, um, or also go with really, really, really bright gemstones as well. So lovely to sort of mix it up for to get more of a modern feel, or maybe keep it with sort of the tonal look uh, if you are looking for a more elegant red carpet look. So very, very versatile gemstone, extremely versatile gemstone, um, but beautiful, really, really lovely, complete, complete elegance. I think you'd even keep them like that if you wanted to. Yeah, just restring them and have them as a necklace. Beautiful, maybe a choker, but really, really lovely. And just for 7.95, 7.95 for pearls is amazing, especially that beautiful cream warming colour. Really, really lovely. Um, well done to Susan, Margaret, Sharon, Sheely on multi-buying, Jenny as well. A uh, few people got it in their basket, so if you do want to check it out, that would be an amazing deal for you. £7.95 for beautiful pearls. Uh, yes, of course. Let's have a little look at them. Ah, <gasps> oh, love it. Wow. They are just the epitome of elegance, aren't they? I love them. And like I say, they are gonna go with anything. Any outfit that you're gonna wear because of the color of them will really, really go with anything. They are absolutely lovely. And when they hit the light, they've got a beautiful shimmer like pinks and greens coming up. Uh, quite a substantial length of strand there as well because you could quite easily just sort of use uh, maybe one or two and drop earrings or sort of, um, sort of slightly smaller, like more of a, a statement piece at the bottom. And you could get so, so much out of that, so much out of that really beautiful really beautiful so that's going to go a long way whether you want to keep it completely all the way round, maybe use just the front so you could get a couple out of it or just use sort of one or two one or two and you could get a real substantial amount of jewelry out of it you really could so at 7.95 brilliant absolutely brilliant for you so wonderful wonderful color gorgeous cream that'll go with anything like i say the epitome of elegance and really sort of gorgeous color there we go that one's number that one's uh, your beautiful cream pearls let's pop that on there Okay, so, uh, all right, ooh, where are we? Okay, hold on, oh, where are we? Um, I'm not sure, no, up, uh, is it up here? Hang on, up, uh. <laughs> thanks, I love that, it was like, and it comes, oh, this is beautiful, so this is gonna be the challenge. This is going to be the chance. Oh my goodness, how warming. These are stunning in colour. Really, really beautiful colour. I love that they're all faceted as well, so they really sparkle. These beautiful circles here really sparkle. They're gorgeous. I love that they sort of carry on in depth of colour as well. So we've got, uh, we've got uh, red dyed quartz uh, in both of these and then beautiful red garnet. So the quartz itself is actually faceted and um, considerably faceted as well. So you can even see it as I move it around. They've got amazing luster, amazing luster. Beautiful color. I love that they sort of go through all that sort of tone of each of the red. Absolutely perfect for Christmas. If you, are, if you are nice and organized, and obviously when you're making jewelry, you need to be, don't you? Because if you are making pieces, it takes time. You don't want to rush it. You want to make sure you get like the perfect design. Maybe for you, or if you sell them, you want to get those wonderful designs and get them in in time so people can sort of buy them in time for, for Christmas. Um, so these are lovely. However, I think the red goes really lovely with the sort of autumn colors as well. The reds, the oranges, the browns. So really, really sort of um, versatile throughout those seasons, I think, that we've got coming up. So really perfect. Just so, so beautiful. Really, really stunning. Uh, yes, actually, you're quite right in there. These would look lovely. I'm gonna put them, 
Oh, Ryan, I love it. Uh, I'm actually going to put them with these because I think they look lovely. The depth of colour with them and then the sort of purity of the cream looks really, really, that looks really lovely, actually. So if you have got them, and you can still get these, can't you, at the, the, the price that we did because um, it will last, it will be there for an hour, won't it? Is that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, even longer, baby. So uh, have a little look because if you don't think because you necessarily missed them that they... Um, uh, but we don't have lots and lots of each of these ones. So uh, if you do sort of go, ah, oh, I wish I got it, you can always go back, go and have a little look and go and get them again. Um, so yeah, let's pop that one back on there. That was the pearls from earlier. Uh, and these are beautiful. So wonderful warming color, uh, almost like a raspberry in those larger quartz there, almost like a raspberry color. And I love the fact that we sort of go through the depth of color, but really perfect for um, autumn colors to go with the oranges, to go with the browns, to go with the yellows, look really, really lovely and perfect, perfect for Christmas. Add it to silverware, um, maybe some wire work would look gorgeous, especially with these, these larger ones here would look really lovely. Uh, and the fact that they're all sort of going through on those wonderful tones of color, uh, beautiful garnet here on the end which has got lovely color in there just beautiful really really gorgeous so we've got a rouge trio this is going to be the challenge as well is that right yeah so this is going to be the chat which will be really nice uh it looks gorgeous with, with, other, with any colors really so we um put it with black would look fabulous we saw it with the pearls yeah just so gorgeous uh, like I say, with even gold work or silver work would look really lovely as well. So um, a beautiful gem that could go through all the seasons as well. But for autumn and winter coming up, if you are nice and organised, these will be perfect to add to your collection, actually. So 90 carats of a red garnet in there as well. 150 of the uh, quartz and 240 uh, of the larger strand as well. At 15.85. 15.85. But we're not staying there, apparently. Are we? Okay, so we're at 15.85. Now we're dropping down all the way down to 11.85. 11.85. So a nice saving for you there. Really nice saving. The 15.85, I'm guessing, was what it would be if you were to buy them all individually. Uh, so the fact that we're bringing them together, uh, that's why we make such a nice saving. It's like bulk buying. Why not? Uh, so absolutely take advantage of that because if you are making jewellery, even for you, for other people, whoever it is, these are perfect for the next two seasons coming up really gorgeous and like I say I love that they sparkle I love that they've each got those wonderful facets over it. sort of intricate work across each and every single one of these gems and they really sparkle picking up the light beautifully so that uh, rouge trio that's going to be our challenge so you'll be able to see exactly what you can make out of these wonderful pieces as well but I'm just going to show you because we've got lots of it here there is there is lots and lots of it uh, yeah, an amazing length, that strand, actually. Um, we go from 30 centimetres to 36 centimetres. Uh, so there's an awful lot there, isn't there? There's an awful lot. And they really do sparkle uh, because of all those wonderful facets. So £11.85 for all of these. So this one, obviously, and all the other two as well. So we've got um, your beautiful red colour dye quartz, and then you've got your red garnet as well, red garnet as well. And they look beautiful together, all that kind of uh, tonal wear. So you could wear, you could use them all together because they really do sort of go down those tones for you. Really beautiful. Going from that sort of more raspberry colour through to the sort of dark depths of almost like a, a, a wine colour there, which is lovely. Really, really beautiful. Um, there's an, uh, Yes, lots of you buying already. Well done. I don't blame you because this is just perfect. And like I say, if you are making jewellery for the up and coming seasons, you've got to grab these because these would be perfect for making those those pieces because we've got the reds that will go with all those autumnal colours and perfect, perfect for Christmas. Uh, red really is. Reds and greens are the epitome of Christmas colours, aren't they? So, yeah, really, really perfect for all of those. And three strands. So we should have been at 15.85. We're now at 11.85 for 11.85, which is a really nice saving, a really lovely saving for all of that. Um, and they are really, really beautiful, beautiful colours. And I love, like I say, that they are faceted, so they really all do sparkle, and I love that. Lovely. So a lovely saving for you there as well. So if you are sort of getting nice and organised for the up-and-coming seasons, these are the ones to grab for sure. Definitely the ones to grab. I uh, love them. Oh, there we go. So yeah, lovely ruby red colours coming through there. Really, really pretty. Uh, all righty, what should we do next? Ooh, ooh, yes. Uh, okay, so we don't have many of these. 
and they are really pretty, really, really pretty. I've not seen these on here actually. Uh, and when we sort of sell very similar pieces, when I, I work on different channels and when we sell these as sort of individual pieces, they are incredibly, incredibly popular, incredibly popular. Um, I think the one that you, the piece that you've got to look at is that wonderful shimmer that you get across the front. Uh, it's a little bit like, you know, when um, oil drizzles on water and you get all that massive, wonderful rainbow effect across it. This is exactly what this looks like and a beautiful design in here. Wonderful purples, greens, the way that it picks up that wonderful turquoise. Each and every single one, so cut the same, absolutely cut the same, so you can use them in uniform jewellery, but with a bit of a twist as well, because they've got, each and every single one's got its own design in it. Really beautiful. Really gorgeous. All that wonderful colour coming through. Uh, we've even got sort of oranges, really bright violet colours, and beautiful pinks, like a cerise pink coming through. So really pretty when they hit the light, really, really pretty. Uh, and like I say, they are, they're just lovely actually, the way that they sort of um, are, they are grabbing the light. But like I say, they're beautiful that they're all that wonderful same shape. And so you can use them sort of uniformed in jewelry and they're just gonna have a bit of a twist when they hit the light. Cause I'm just gonna show you like this so we can grab all the light in there. I'm just gonna twist them around, look at all of that. It's like artwork inside each and every single one of these. They look beautiful. I love the depth of colour as well around it. I love that these are actually a shell. It's amazing. I love it. Really, really beautiful on these. Uh, just the way that they capture the light is just stunning. Like I say, it just gives it a little bit of a quirky twist, which I love. Um, because each and every single one kind of looks the same until you really look close at them and they really capture the light and then they are unique, everyone is unique. So maybe you wanna use them sort of um, in earrings, they look lovely in that, or maybe a sort of, um, because they're in that lovely pear shape and the sort of a bottom of a, of a necklace would look really lovely as well. And as you move and as you're wearing them, they're gonna capture all the light beautifully. Like I say, they are such gorgeous colors in there and they're really vivid and bright when they really catch the light. Gorgeous greens, purples, blues, uh, even like a peachy color coming through as well. So really, really pretty. Each and every single one of these unique, although looks very similar because they're all in that wonderful, wonderful design. So uh, at 6.95, all of that for 6.95. That is, that, can we discuss how long that strand is? That's amazing. Um, I'm just gonna count roughly how many we got. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, two, four, six. Um, nearly sort of 30 pieces in there. Nearly 30 pieces just for 6.95. So if you were to use them individually, uh, brilliant. You could make sort of 15, 14, 15 pairs of earrings out of these. Uh, you could make sort of, are they? Around 23, 25 pence per piece. So if you are a sort of maker and seller of jewelry, you would definitely make a profit out of that, wouldn't you? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely perfect for that. Uh, I love the fact that these go such a long way because you don't need many of them because the beauty of them on their own, so they're sort of statement pieces all on their own, so you don't need to use sort of five, six, seven, if you don't want to, because they're so individual and the way they capture the light on their own, it's just gonna look beautiful. Uh, well done, Whoa, people multi-buying as well, well done to you. If it is sat in your basket, you need to check it out because we didn't have many, did we, Helena? So if it is sat in your basket, um, you do need to check it out because I would hate for you to miss out because these really are lovely, really lovely. Just stunning, at 6.95. So what did you say, about 25p per one? Wow. Uh, yeah, so if you were to make a pair of earrings, you've made it for sort of 50p plus the wire working or whatever it is that you're doing. So massive profit to be made, I think, if you were to sort of make pieces like this. And like I say, you don't need to use lots of them because, because they are so stunning on their own uh, and they sort of capture the light with all that wonderful colour. You don't want to overpower it. So using just ones and twos and threes is ap it would be enough, I think, for all of this. So you're going to get a substantial amount of jewellery out of this. You really are. So really beautiful, and for 6 95 if you've already opened your basket, you might as well drop them in, might as well drop them in because you only pay once for postage and packaging. Uh, we are, well, yeah, over half the stock has gone. Uh, so if you are looking at these pieces, if it is sat in your basket, people are multi-buying, I don't blame you because it is really, really pretty. And the amount that you could get out of this amazing strand is fab really, isn't it? And for 6 95 just perfect, really perfect. Just so, so lovely, I love these. Lovely, love them. Love all that colour coming off there, just for 6 95 Beautiful. Love them. They're really lovely. Right, let's pop them in there. Let's carry on. Let's do, ooh. Okay, so I, I know that this is kyanite from looking earlier. However, 
when you do look at it, it kyanite is kind of known as an amazing alternative to sapphire. And when you look at these pieces, you can actually see why. Um, so a beautiful, beautiful gemstone all on its own. Wonderful, wonderful kyanite. It's got a beautiful royal blue colour. Lovely, lovely colour. Really beautiful royal blue. It's got like a freshness to it, actually. It's got a freshness to it. Uh, and as the light sort of jumps around the gem, it sort of looks lovely when it hits the light. Really, really pretty. Picking up beautiful blues inside. So you've got the lovely colour to start with. And then as the light captures inside the gem, it's got a lovely sparkle. Really, really pretty. And like I say, when it comes to kyanite, um, kind of known for a lovely alternative to sapphire. If you are looking for an alternative to sapphire, um, kyanite is definitely the way to go. And you can see why, because it's got beautiful colour to it. And as I said, as the light jumps inside the gem, you get a wonderful brilliance. Picking up a beautiful, beautiful blue. They are really lovely, really lovely. Uh, so we've got 65 carats worth of kyanite here. So that's quite an, uh, an amazing amount of kyanite. Uh, they are graduated facets as well. So faceted drops, sorry. So they are graduated faceted drops, which means you get sort of more, more versatility out of the whole strand. If you are looking to make matching pieces, the smaller pieces would be lovely for sort of uh, drop earrings maybe, especially in this design, uh, because they are drops themselves. Uh, they would also look lovely sort of if you want to sort of carry on and make a matching matching pendant because the larger one is in the centre. Uh, I always think these would look really lovely as well. If you were maybe to do a few uh, and have it as a ringing sort of encaptured in silver would look lovely as well. You could get like a few together. So. Because they are, like I say, because they are graduated, look at all of them, because they are graduated, you've got lots of versatility within the whole strand. Uh, so it means that you can make matching jewelry if you want to. Or sometimes you might want to put sort of a statement piece in the middle, maybe if you're making a necklace, sort of a statement piece in the middle, uh, and then sort of graduate out to sort of smaller pieces. But totally up to you, whatever you want to do. I love the blues coming off this beautiful regal color of your blue, very kind of cooling color as well. Um, and when the light jumps inside, I can see right there, it sort of creates almost like a brilliant royal blue inside the gemstone. So really pretty, lovely facets on there as well. So they're gonna sort of shimmer when the light hits them. Lovely luster, really catching the light beautifully actually. Uh, and like I say, 65 carats worth, 65 carats worth. Uh, that's a substantial amount, isn't it? And it's kyanite. In it's kyanite. Um, let's have a little look at all of these for you. Actually, all of these. These are so, so lovely. I love the way they catch in the light. Uh, if you were to buy these normally in jewellery, they're sort of they're quite sought after this gem. So because I think as it is an alternative to Sapphire, you can use them as an alternative because they've still got that beautiful colour. As the light grabs them, they've got lovely sort of luster over the top, so wonderful sparkle. And then you've got a beautiful brilliance inside there as well, really capturing the light wonderfully inside that gem and a real versatile, versatile piece for you as well, really to be honest a 20 centimeter strand like I say quite a substantial amount that you're getting here 65 carats worth uh, and a beautiful color very regal very royal look so we should be 27.95 that's where we should be 27.95 for you that's where it should be um, this is amazing this is beautiful kyanite like it's a stunning stunning gemstone all on its own but if you are looking for sort of beautiful royal regal blue colors this is this is a gemstone to go for definitely is uh, 16 by 6 millimeters to 7 by 3 at 20 centimeter strand for you we should have been at 27 to say 27.95 wow 20 pounds and 95 pence that's quite a substantial saving for you that really is 20 pounds and 95 pence instead 65 carats worth that's quite a that's quite a large amount that you're getting there a really really beautiful gemstone all in its own right um wonderful royal blue colors and as the light captures it it really has a beautiful kind of sparkle and luster inside there all for 20 pounds and 95 pence so we were at 29 were we 27 27 and now we're at 20 pounds and 95 pence uh, an incredible incredible saving for you really at 65 carats worth of your kyanite uh, a wonderful, wonderful gemstone all on its own. That wonderful sparkle coming through as well. Beautiful brilliance inside as the light kind of grabs it. A really, really ge deep, gorgeous gemstone. Quite difficult to mine as well to get hold of this gemstone. So uh, an incredibly rare gemstone and beautiful kyanite. Um, there we are. That is wonderful. 65 carats worth. Very lovely. All right, let's pop them back. Whoop, there we go. All right, let us carry on. We're going, ooh, they are lovely. Wow. 
That colour's beautiful. Beautiful. Let's have a little look at these. That is really lovely. Very fresh colour. Very fresh colour indeed. Sky blue appetite. Now, appetite itself known for having a beautiful brilliance inside it. And it really does sort of shimmer. Really stunning gemstone and so bright and so vibrant. Uh, I love that these could be sort of used on their own. Would it lovely? A little bracelet, wouldn't it? Or maybe a sort of um, a gemstone that you might want to sort of shoulder with other pieces, uh, which would look really lovely. Sort of a statement piece and then shouldering with this beautiful colour because it's so fresh, it would sort of go with most things, I think. 30 carats worthy sky blue appetite. Uh, I'm just going to grab these because I think if you were to put the pearls and the blue together actually look really lovely. Really, really lovely. Because neither colour is too sort of powerful and strong on its own. They really do complement each other. That's really lovely. Beautiful. So it's just sort of grab a pearl and shoulder it with this wonderful appetite. Really, really lovely. Uh, look at that. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous gemstone, isn't it? Really beautiful in colour. Really beautiful in colour. Um, really sort of fresh and vibrant colour. Perfect for winter. Yeah, really love that kind of icy blue colour coming through. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like a frozen icy. Ooh, nice, Helena. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we've got wonderful sky blue appetite. Beautiful sky blue appetite. Um, a really beautiful colour. Yeah, perfect for winter. Icy white colours. Uh, lovely for summer as well. Like if you don't have to just necessarily sort of keep to the seasons that are coming up. Um, definitely you want to be sort of creating pieces that uh, you can use all year round, definitely do. Um, this is 30 carats worth of sky blue appetite. Can I say beautiful, beautiful gemstone. Graduated plain rounds as well to two to four millimetres and a 30 centimetre strand. Look at all of that, wow. Loads and loads of these beautiful gemstones and I think the thing you've got to look at is that wonderful, wonderful colour. They're so beautiful, the smoothness going around every single one of those gems is perfect. Uh, and at 30 centimetres, that's an incredible amount that we've got. Incredible amount. So 30 carats worth of sky blue. I love that. Just be, and at 795. 795, perfect. Just perfect for you. Look lovely with silver, wouldn't it? Look really lovely with silver. Looks perfect with those wonderful pearls. If you have got sort of gemstones that have got sort of um, sort of statement pieces, maybe these would look lovely on the shoulders. Or oh, would just look lovely if you're looking for more sort of delicate, um, sort of, yeah, just more delicate jewellery would look lovely as well. At just 795, that is incredible. 30 carats worth of your sky blue appetite. They are graduated as well, so you sort of can use maybe a few at the beginning and, and more down the bottom so they would sort of graduate within your jewellery as well but 30 carats where the sky blue topaz uh, sky blue appetite sorry is lovely really lovely really sort of bright and vibrant um but got a gorgeous sort of cooling color as well if you are looking for uh do you know what we had these earlier didn't we we had these earlier i think the yellow would look lovely they would look lovely as well they look gorgeous together I, th I think what we're looking at here is that this gemstone is going to go with most things, isn't it? If you've got other gemstones already, they would look sort of really lovely with lots of other things because they are sort of just fresh and pure in colour. They are the sky blue rather than the sort of neon colour that you can get in Appetite. So because it is that sort of colour, that really fresh colour, you're going to be able to sort of pop them with any other gemstone, whether they're sort of tonal, whether they're sort of blacks or whether they've got sort of more sort of purity. Really, really lovely. There we go. That one is just at 7.95. 7.95. Lovely. Love them. Really pretty. All right. Uh, it is time. We're going to have a little look. Oh, we're going to do for designer inspiration. Ooh. All right. Uh, this one. Yeah. Now, I did look at these and think these are absolutely amazing in their sort of colour that you've put together here. Really amazing. Now, we were saying that the um, perspex that we've got is brand new colours, brand new colours. So whether you're new to it or whether you've been doing it for a little while, this whole bundle is going to be amazing for you because it is sort of brand new colours that we can sort of grab. Um, some of the stuff that you've made, Hannah, with this is really lovely. I was having a little look earlier uh, and really sort of beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, I think lovely because, like I say, when you sort of look at jewellery on the catwalk, they do tend to sort of over-exaggerate things, don't they? Yeah jumps to the high street and it tones down and it's sort of real statement pieces but still following that massive fashion look mm -hmm. so really lovely all of this is going to be great how um because i'm quite new to it <coughs> yeah. i've not really sort of used any of this before like i say you do look at some of the equipment and you kind of go that's a bit daunting that's quite a lot of stuff <laughs> um 
Tell me, how easy is it to use? Perspex is incredibly easy to use, and the lovely thing about it is it's all transferable skills. So what you're working with is piercing saws, bench pegs, all words you think, that's not me, that's professional jewellers. It is so, so easy to use. <clears throat> In fact, I was saying earlier, I have done several workshops now for Perspex, and the first thing everybody comments on is just how easy it is to cut and work. And these skills that you learn with your, your Perspex you can transfer onto metal work as well. So it's all the same equipment, but you can then practice on your perspex, get proficient at it, and move on if you want to, onto silver sheet, copper sheet, like we have in as well. It's a very, very, very good medium to practice in. Cool, so that's good. So there's sort of, you can sort of start with this, and because it's so easy to yeah. use, you can then move on to sort of other things as well. So it's a real skill that you can kind of use and develop from the beginning. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so a great way to start, but not only a great way to start, but can create <coughs> some amazing, amazing pieces for you. Yeah. And definitely. I love the fact that it doesn't just have to be jewellery. It can be sort of, it can be that. Yeah. Um, but also you can do sort of uh, bag jewellery or maybe, as you were saying, sort of mobiles or... Yeah, it's a really, really versatile medium. And if we look, um, like we were searching before the show, everything at the moment on the high street, all the catwalk trends, all the sort of fashion boutique jewellery is all acrylic and perspex. And it's because you can get this really, really wow look for very affordable price from it as well. Which is a perfect, <laughs> absolutely perfect. So we are gonna do all of these in a wonderful bundle. I'm so excited. So this is our first designer inspiration. Uh, and we have got, so like I say, these Perspex sheets are all brand new. That's right, yep, isn't brand it? New, all yep. brand new colors. So um, perfect uh, for if you have just started, because why not? Uh, and also, if you are sort of already have a collection of them, uh, why not add to it? Why not add to it? Because these are all brand new colours. And how amazing are these? Mm -hmm. How amazing! So we've got gold, silver. We've got a frost colour and a beautiful black. Now they're going to look gorgeous. They look wonderful together, don't they? Absolutely wonderful. So if you're going to sort of um, gorgeous sort of accumulate these together and look wonderful with jewellery together which I think is what you've done as well haven't you? Yeah I've made some stacking bangles so they yeah. can definitely be all sort of worn interchangeable and it's um, again with the silver and the gold perspex it's a very very high mirror finish as well so you get a flash of ref light reflection too. Yeah so when the light grabs them they're going to be amazing amazing pieces um, and again silver <coughs> and gold a general jewellery wear aren't they so whatever is your preference you can make both out of these uh, and they are going to go with absolutely everything because you can know you that can wear jewelry uh, and know that it's going to go with your outfits because it's just standard isn't it gold and gold and silver together so i love all these i love the fact that they're brand new colors as well i love that they're brand new colors so perfect for everybody got a real sheen like a glitter sheen off that black as well that's amazing uh, now we do have all of these now these are amazing um, I think as well that the tones are going to look great. So we've got, uh, okay, so hang on, let's, let's have a little look. Okay, let's pop these. I'm just going to pop that chain there because I'm going to grab these. So we've got a, a black agate, white quartz, so polar ends are the tones that just go with anything. Uh, I really give it a very kind of elegant look, I always think, no matter what design you're doing. Uh, and then we've got amazing pyrite. Now, the thing I love about pyrite is it's got what's known as a metallic luster, which actually some say is greater than the luster that you get from gemstones themselves. Um, so it's got an incredible cut, incredible sparkle across the front of this. Um, so really sort of beautiful look that you're going to create. Look at the sparkle of that as well. Um, so really perfect. So you've got the black and the white, which will sort of go with anything because they're just those tones look um, and then the wonderful sparkle off that pyrite as well is amazing those facets are perfect pyrite itself will sparkle all on its own so adding the facets to them will really sort of um, create a beautiful beautiful look to them uh, and because we've got gold we've got silvers and we've got that black in that perspex these are a one it's a wonderful bundle if you want to sort of make pieces just within this bundle so perfect 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 look um, black agate with the sort of intensity of color the white um, there with sort of purity of tone and then the wonderful sparkle from the pyrex that's amazing uh, how good for christmas would they be as well <laughs> Absolutely. you can like you don't necessarily because we are sending them together as a bundle we don't necessarily have to sort of keep them all oh, I can only use that with perfect of course you don't we're giving you all the sort of uh, tools and appliances to be able to do all these wonderful things mix it up and do what you want why not uh, because these are all so beautiful this is a shimmer and sparkle perspex designer inspiration collection and they really are looking amazing aren't they uh, right this is amazing too Get one meter of it. 
What? Look at all of that. That is, that is, this is going to give it a very almost kind of, you could give a real aztec kind mm -hmm. of look, couldn't you, to that, which I know is extremely popular at the moment. Uh, when I was sort of having a little research about things, because I'm quite new to it, I was like, I really want to see exactly what you can do to it. And you can make sort of perfect, massive statement pieces of jewellery, or you can do really intricate, very delicate designs as well. So there's lots and lots of things that you can do um, with this perfect as a as you could use separately as well if you want to use it separately look lovely as sort of a bracelet attached to things obviously sort of um uh, the sort of uh, look where you've got charms and things like mm -hmm. that always very popular as well uh, which you could make probably out of first face yeah, could you? yeah. You can. Uh, and so many things you can do um so lots and lots of things that you can do with this beautiful piece and with a meter of it yeah loads you can do loads and loads you can do i love that sort of design as well that's really awesome and so much of it, it just keeps going. Uh, that's really good. So beautiful. And then we've got these as well. Okay, so these are black painted copper crimp beads. You get how many? 300 pieces. 300 pieces. Uh, I'm going to tip it slightly and try not to tip them all on the floor. <laughs> Look at all of them. Oh, yes. They've got a be yeah, beautiful metallic finish and that goes so well with that Perspex, doesn't it? Um, so tell me, how's the easiest way to sort of, if you were to put these into Perspex, because obviously you can have them to sort of create intricate designs yeah. in the Perspex. How easy is it just to, because I'm looking at these going, okay, so I've got them <laughs> and I've got the Perspex. How do I attach them to that? <laughs> well, you can do it several ways, um, but the easiest way and the way we'll be looking at today will be drilling the Perspex and creating little um, recesses within the Perspex itself which will then drop the gemstones into to glue them in place. Perfect, nice mm -hmm. and easy. So they'll Very be easy. nice and secure because they yeah. have their own sort of sitting yeah. to put them in. Uh, we've got the ability to do that a little bit later as well, I think, haven't we? We've got them, um, oh, here it is. Oh my goodness, so this is, wow. So we've got this coming up. We've got the, we've got the uh, obviously the main piece to it as well, but these are all the appliances that you get with it. Wow, so we've got this coming up. This is a beautiful Dremel set. Look at all of that in there. Uh, yeah, perfect, absolutely perfect. So I'm guessing with these, you can make pretty much any design you like. Anything you want, yep. <laughs> that is amazing. All you need is imagination exactly. and you're rolling. So that's very <laughs> exciting. Um, lovely, so I love all of this. You've got the Perspex sheets, got four of them there, all in wonderful colours with a beautiful kind of shimmer over the top. Uh, you've got your chain, you've got your gems, you've got, uh, and the wonderful crimp beads as well. So an amazing amount that you could make. So 47, should be 47 pounds. Okay, so I don't, I mean, I, I would imagine that's quite a good price before we've even started, really. So £47, that's for four sheets. You've got three rolls of gemstone, three like chains of gemstone. You've got your beautiful chain and you've also got the crimp beads as well, which are 300 of them. 300, so an amazing amount that you can do with all of that. Mm -hmm which is amazing. 47 I would think was already pretty good for all of that. If you are just getting started, amazing, or even adding to your pieces. But we're going to 32.95 instead. Why not? Brilliant. <laughs> 32.95, I think with all of the, this is gonna make perfect for, wow, for, you're making over 14 pounds saving. Uh, that's incredible. So you would have paid 47 if you sort of bought them all individually, is that right? Yes, yeah, so now we've brought them to you as a gorgeous bundle. We are saving you over £14, which is an incredible, incredible saving. Don't forget, these are also brand new. All these colours are brand new. The gorgeous gold, the silver, the shimmer that you're getting as well from that wonderful black is perfect. Really perfect. Um, so amazing. I love all of that. And now I'm quite excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my, like my favourite bit. Uh, my favourite bit that uh, we actually get to see what you can make out of all of this. <laughs> Check up everything's intact. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh my goodness. So you have made all of these things from that amazing bundle. Yes, and I had absolutely loads left over as loads well. Loads left yeah, over. Loads left over. It's just such, such, such fun to work with Perspex. And you can see from the designs they've made, um, they're all quite on trend at the moment. There's an awful lot of these geometric designs, yeah. uh, big triangle statement necklaces. But as you said earlier, you can, you can scale those down and make them to how you want them and make them wearable as well. I think, to be honest, when you're making your own jewellery, that's got to be sort of 
the 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 best bit about it yeah. isn't it because you can sort of make them unique you can make them suit you you can uh whatever it is that you fancy the colors the look whether you i love statement piece of jewelry it's mm. like it's my f i can't wear delicate i wish no. i could i, I wish i could but it's just not me unfortunately uh so these sort of statement pieces for me every time i see it on the catwalk and i'm like oh yes can't wait for that to go to the high street come <laughs> on um and these are amazing aren't they when you're mm -hmm. making your own you can make them totally fit and if you've got like a a great sort of uh event to go to mm -hmm. and you've got this outfit you're like I really need jewellery to match it perfect and I think when you've got stamen pieces they do suit the delicate dress look they really do they yeah. really do they well, really do understated dress and then you just dress it up yeah. with all this crazy interesting yeah jewelry. so it's definitely the perfect way to go. perfect so this is really easy is it it's really really easy so what we're going to show is um the bangle at the front which is the, sort of the brock patterning on it so the clear frost yeah but it, you can then transfer that same skill across all of the different mediums that we're seeing today perfect um so to get started with the perspex it comes in sheet form so we're talking a5 sheet and it's three mil thickness and it does come covered both sides in like a like a clear sort of plasticky um, uh, covering and that's just to pr protect surface you imagine sort of with the highly polished perspex especially you can scratch the surface don't worry if you do because you can polish it out oh. not, a, not a problem at all but that's it's good. just easier when you work in keep that protective layer okay on. so even even if you do if you are sort of <clears throat> doing bits and you do sort of catch it or that's all right yeah that's you absolutely can. fine nice. you can just polish polish that's it good. out and um, especially with the dremel which makes it really really quick and easy okay cool. so <laughs> all that equipment <laughs> i know it does look really really scary but i promise you it's it's such good easy fun amazing so to make the cuff the great thing about the um, perspex sheets is you only have to cut them one way because the the width of the, of the perspex sheet is already the white, right width for a, for a bracelet so that's brilliant that's really. nice and easy so no measuring needed no measuring needed apart from just the one the, side sort of that you the thickness of it yeah and so obviously that's that's your own choice as absolutely well, isn't it? personal preference you can go right down i think i've got one and a half or 15 mil uh, bracelets in the front there and the big cuff itself i've done it five or 50 mil because it's just got a statement in interest design in the center so we're going to measure both sides like to five centimeters 50 mil oh so are you taking a bit more off that 29.95 instead 29.95 for this amazing bundle and i'm so excited because all the things that we're going to make we are going to make out of this amazing bundle so we have got the perspex sheets what you said you made all of this mm -hmm. so several several sort of outfits worth uh, and you still had loads left. Yeah, because uh, don't forget with the designer inspiration, we have to make all of our stage pieces as yep. well. So all of the different demo pieces are all made from the same. Amazing. Same so still with lots left, so that's <laughs> perfect. And with a little bit more of a saving, why not? Okay. There we go. Excellent, why not? So what we've done there is just drawn out um, using a permanent marker, the width of the bangle. To cut the perspex, this is where we start having lots and lots of fun. We're going to use uh, one of the needle files. Um, just because rather than going straight in with a saw you want to create like a little um, indentation to put your saw into to begin being cutting so I'm going to take that to the edge okay. of the table yeah and just run a needle file up and down the edge to create just a little groove ah oh, to give you sort of a guide mark yeah it works as a little purchase so you can get a saw into there I'm just gonna use my other one as well which is a bit finer and that's just scoring the edge yeah for you and we are bringing all this equipment to you as well so don't think well i don't have that so i can't do it you <laughs> yeah. can because we're going to bring it all individually for you so we are going to have um lots and lots of things that we can do for you so we'll have this amazing bundle that we've already done and take them all off at 29.95 <laughs> and we're going to bring the sort of saw and the files and everything a little bit later on so do not panic if you don't have it uh don't think i can't do it you can you definitely can because we're going to be able to bring all those things for you as well so to saw the perspex obviously it's a little bit difficult showing it on screen because i need to work at the edge of the table but if you're working at home we have the bench peg coming up yep, later that's right uh, which is like an anvil with a wooden block that you can saw onto as well yep. and that keeps everything nice and steady and in place so i'm just going to adjust that slightly try not to take it out of shot <laughs> <laughs> and where i've created my groove my saw blade sits perfectly into it cool it is then just a case of i say it's just a case it's always a uh, difficult showing on telly but literally just up and down with the saw under pressure <laughs> <laughs> yeah Obviously, if you're working at home, you're working on a flat and you haven't sort of got cameras and things that you need to be aware of. So it's a lot, <laughs> lot easier doing it at home. But you see with the saw, what I'm doing is literally up and down, up and down. I'm not tipping the saw forward. I'm not pulling it back. If you tip or push onto the blade, 
you can snap it. Right. And it's just the normal thing, you know, it's, it's yeah. consumable, so it will, it will blunt and snap eventually. But I'm not putting any pressure on there. I'm literally just up and down with the saw, and it really does cut like butter. Very, very, very God, easy yeah, medium going to work with. It's really easy, isn't it? Yeah, it really, really is. To remove a saw from, from the perspex, rather than just pulling it, you want to saw backwards as well. Okay. So, Vicky, I'm going to make you do this. <laughs> just to show how easy just, it just is. Just to show how easy it is. Okay. okay, cool. So, I literally just put it on there. Yep, that's one. Well, find the groove. There we go. Is that right? Yep, that's it. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's really, I'm not going to lie, that's really easy. And that's it's not even like, it's no pressure, mm -mm. no no nothing, and it's just going all the way through. And because you've sort of created that groove, yep. and you've already started it for me, I don't even really necessarily, like I'm keeping an eye on the line, but it's sort of, it's just guiding itself. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Do I just keep going? Yes. Yeah. Keep going. Just and it is really as rolling. easy as that. The perspex won't put any resistance against the saw no. blade, anything like that. It's a very, very, very easy medium to cut. Oh my goodness, I thought this was going to be quite hard. <laughs> you know, when you're like, you see your dad in your workshop trying to do, <laughs> kind of do his stuff. Um, and <laughs> <What's the matter? laughs> Helena's creating havoc over there. <laughs> Helena, I'm trying to create here. I'm trying to create. <laughs> I get, that is so, I can't get actually over how easy that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was really, like, really, really oh simple. yeah, oh I need to just move it because it's going too far. <laughs> uh, I thought, oh, you see your dad doing all like, I'm putting real effort into it. You don't need any muscles, trust me. <laughs> and the great thing about it is, once you get sort of more used to how the medium works and how the perspex reacts, you can get really, really, really quick at cutting as well. Obviously at the moment, all we're cutting is just a straight line. That's, that's pretty simple to do. Yeah. But once you get into curves and shapes and forms like that, it is literally like if you're cutting um, paper with scissors. You, yeah. All you have to do is move the saw Just and the perspex the saw a little bit time. as you go around. Yeah, exactly. Love that. <laughs> and now we have got the saw, we've got a file, we've got the saw and saw blades coming. This is so easy. <laughs> I'm loving life. And you see the saw blade we're using is um, one slash zero, so it's a nice fine blade as well. Yeah. Which means when we come to polishing and finishing up, there's not a lot of um, sort of saw cuts or anything like that you need to remove. It's, it's probably the harder saw blade size to start with because you have to be more precise with it, but you can already see by the key really hammering through that. It's just really, really easy to do. <laughs> I do what? <laughs> and it's like, oh, you look like loving it. I am. Do you know what? I'm just so surprised how easy it is. I know that you do say, like, when you do your workshops, and people go, oh my God, it's so easy. But it really is. And because of the size, like, between, they'll be so easy to sort of manoeuvre if you wanted Absolutely, to do those yeah. shapes. Yeah, you can. Oh, I'm just going to keep going. Carry on. <laughs> keep on rolling. No, I, <laughs> no but I try not to saw the table off. I try not to. But it's quite difficult, you know, because we are going so fast. That, uh, whoop. That's the thing, obviously, if you're working at home, just make sure that your, your area is prepped. You don't want me cutting into your dining room table no, or anything like that. No, could you imagine? That. People oh, coming around it, for dinner, yeah. what's that? It was making perspex, sorry. It really, really is quick and simple. Yeah, it really is. I am loving this. Dun, dun, dun. This is what I was excited about doing today, because I was like, oh, I get to make jewellery. And then I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness, that looks really hard. Maybe I won't make jewellery. But actually... You'll get to a point um, in, in the size of this perspex, um, just where the back edge of the saw blade and the saw frame is hitting the perspex. Yes. That's not a problem at all. All we need to do is saw backwards to remove the blade. I think I've got to about that point, to be honest. Yeah. There, there we are. Go. Comes We've out reversed. nice and easy. Just turn it round and then saw And so in the do we need way. to put a little... Yeah, you can do. Put a little nick, oh, you reckon? One of my... Love so you that. just use the okay. edge of that, run it up and Ooh. down the edge. And do you go up and down? Up and down, ah. yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm loving life. <laughs> <laughs> Are we good? Perfect, Jack. Yes. That should give you enough room just to... Hold on. Create. Put that in the little groove. There we go. And we're off and rolling. <laughs> this is so cool. Like, if you have never done this before, never done this before, I, I am telling you right now, this is so, so easy. This is so easy. And I can imagine that when you... Because this is the first time I've ever done it. When you like, when you sort of do get a bit used to it and give it a go, that 
you could do sort of amazing things. Yeah, you really, really can. I mean, if you sort of look back on YouTube at, at some of the other shows I've done, that you can make very, very fine detail filigree work with Perspex. Oh, wow. Um, you can make all sorts of very, very um, twisty, turvy, very intricate designs yeah. with little effort because you're not sawing against something that's giving you a lot of a trouble to saw or anything like that. It's just very, very, very easy. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost, almost. So we have got the saw and the blades for you as well. We're going to, as soon as I've created my uh, <laughs> first design, I will uh, bring those to you. This, like, and it doesn't really take a lot of time. Like, because we're here, I'm like, quick, hurry up! <laughs> but you really, it re I'm not like putting in loads of effort. I'm no. not like working my biceps at all. Like, if you think that maybe it might be a lot of effort, it's really not at all. Oh my goodness, I'm so nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, 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 here we are. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait. Are we there? Nearly, I think. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Yeah. Perfect. Cut out that quickly. Shall we show shall we show that? Where are we? Here! Oh my goodness, so we've got Wow. So that so this is it, and we've got all the blades that go with it. So we've got like an assortment of blades as well. Mm -hmm. So tell me, when you when would you use sort of the different sizes of blade? What's sort of appropriate to use? It just depends on on what you're doing. Um, Perspex is quite an, an easy thing to saw, so I always use much finer blades. Yeah. If you work in something um, like a metal sheet, like the copper sheet, I work upwards in blades. So I might use a sort of th a two or three, okay. maybe even a four, depending. Um, you can also use this saw and saw blades um, if with your coil cutting pliers to make your own jump rings. So saw cut jump rings if Perfect. you're into chainmail. Oh, really, really versatile, great. Yeah, because you, you roll them round, don't you, and then cut That's straight on. down the middle yep. of them. Okay, so we have got, oh my goodness, so there's loads here. Wow. Okay. How, how many do you get? 24. 24. And how long would you sort of use one for? Do you know? Or like it really depends. This one um, I've had in since the uh, workshop two weeks ago. So it's gone through a whole workshop. We're yep. teaching ladies how to use it as well. It's gone through all my demo pieces and it just really depends. There's sometimes you find a snag in the perspex and it just breaks. That's just how it is, which is why it's great to have so many to hand yep. to replace them. Um, and after a while, they, the saw and the teeth will get blunt to replace it again. Yep. But I mean, that's lasted me three three weeks plus making everything you see today. Cool, and you did a workshop and a on workshop it as well. On so that's, as well. that's sort of way more than uh, the sort of average person would use <laughs> yeah, it, isn't yeah, it? So absolutely. we're gonna be sort of using it for quite a long time. Uh, we have got, like we say, 24 pieces and these sort of the different lengths, aren't they? Different lengths. Um, cut there. Uh, so we've got an assortment of saw blades. Uh, we've got the frame, we've got piercing saw blades. Um, we've got, in fact, 12, 24 of those. Wow. So absolutely, per and this is sort of a necessity really if you're going to do yeah, absolutely. this sort of work. If, it's, if you're thinking of taking your jewellery making to the next level, if you want to start creating all of your findings from scratch, things like that, this is definitely the, the product to come in and get. You'll be surprised at how many mediums you can use this wow. with. Wow. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And I love the fact that we've got so many different blades here for you as well. Uh, so an assortment, 24 different blades, plus obviously um, the um, the saw blade itself. So the actual sort of framework for it and all of those, uh, which is a necessity, not just for Perspex mm -hmm. in, but for a great great variety of different mediums that you might want to use it for. Uh, so that's it. Look at all of them. Hello. And then this, ta -da. And looks like it's really easy to sort of alternate those blades yeah, as well. Yeah, I can uh, um, just quickly show you if you want. Yeah, if you please want. do. Um, the saw frame comes, Oh, just undo mine, take my saw blade out. So it comes with everything loose. Yeah. And it's an adjustable saw frame. So if you do break a blade at the top, you can adjust it down and use a sort of shorter blade uh, as well. It's, it's good for that because obviously you, you're getting the most use out of something. Yeah. But to set it up, all you need to do is remember that the teeth on the saw blade need to point downwards. So like a witch's nose is okay. the best way to remember <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> I quite like that. <laughs> it's quite an easy one to remember. Pop the saw in the first side nearest the handle and just tighten. Yeah. You then have to adjust the saw out to allow this blade to slip in there okay, and adjust okay. and then screw the bottom so that's nice and tight there as yeah. well. Then putting enough pressure just so that saw blade bends as you've got it in to the other yeah. holder, tighten that up 
and your oh. saw blade's ready to go. You do need the pressure in the frame as you put the saw blade in just to make sure there's good tension there. Yeah. But um, again, one of the ladies said to me, uh, I think it was last week on the course, um, she'd been trying for ages and as soon as you physically do it yourself, yeah. It's so, so easy to do. Yeah, that didn't look difficult at all, so that's good. Nice and easy to sort of change them, uh, whether you want the different sort of sizes, yeah. different widths, uh, whatever it is that you want to do. You've got an amazing amount there and sort of not necessarily just for person, but for lots of different, lots of different uses. Uh, so a real sort of great purchase, actually, a real great purchase. German style saw frame and saw blades, uh, a lot of them. Uh, so we should be at 22.85 for all of the... So for the frame alone, tell me again, the frame alone is 10.95. So 10.95 um, for the frame. Wow, are you? Okay. So the frame alone should be 10.95 and we're going all the way down to 14.85. 14.85. So for four pounds, you're getting all of these. <laughs> I don't know how we do it. She's speechless. Really she's actually speechless. <laughs> So this should be, ten, she's like, uh, probably I should go and check. And see that's right. <laughs> yeah. uh, so 10.95 should be, should be the, just the frame itself. And then for a casual four pounds, you can get all of these. So there's a real substantial amount in there, 24 of them, 24 uh, different blades. Uh, Hannah's like freaking out a little bit next to me, <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, if you do want to grab one of these, now is the time to do it, I think. <laughs> now is the time to do it before Hannah goes and checks and realises that's wrong. So at uh, 10.95 normally just for this, should be way over, but we're going just to 14.85, 14.85 for that. Uh, yeah. Lovely, there we go, perfect. Excellent, so we've got our little bangle cut out, ready to go. And obviously what we want to do is just make sure that that's really neat and tidy, because we've got to remember this is going on to, to people's wrists. Yes, that's true, yeah. So on the one edge that we um, cut, yep. we need to file it down. So okay. I'm just gonna grab, my file looks a little bit different to the one we have, but it's, it's exactly the same process. Uh. Um, using the flat of the file, flat side, both flat there. Yeah. You just need to file. And what you need to achieve is just to remove any um, bumps or nicks and then remove any of the saw blade cuts as well. So take your time with this bit because the more work you do now, the much better finish you're going to get at the end. Of course. You don't want any sort of any rough edges at all. You don't want no. to catch on anything, do you? Absolutely not. And then if you're obviously working at home, you can work much closer to yourself and get a much better purchase on the piece itself. We can then turn it round and we've obviously got um, quite, not sharp edges, but edges that could sort of catch the things on the corners. Yep. So again, we just want to run those down and just curve them round nicely. And again, take your time with it just to file those off. Yeah. And so you're just seeing... Sort of slightly curving them. Yeah, just curving them round. And you see quite quickly you've already got a curve to that, rather yep. than sort of battling with it and trying to work at it. It's very, very forgiving medium to work with. So we've already got a curved edge cool. there. Easy. Okay, now comes the bit where we want to start introducing um, patterns and things and designs. So Absolutely. you notice I haven't curved it yet. There's no need to. What we want to do is introduce the design. And the fun thing about this um, frosted perspex is... <gasps> you can see through you it. You can see through it. So that makes it really, really, really easy to use that more in the center there for you so I've just done a sort of a little baroque pattern which is um, just a sort of pretty swirly design you can do anything you want you could do names you could do initials on the cuffs oh, as well personalize them something a little bit different and again you don't need to be too precise at this stage yeah. because when we start drilling and, and cutting the perspex yeah. that's when the more precision comes that's, in that's when there's no turning back mm, oh, almost, oh, only <laughs> almost. almost. Oh, that's good okay so we're just tracing around and again, I'm using a, a permanent marker there as well. Yeah. There is a reason why I'm using a thick one. Yeah. And that is because it's the same size as the gemstones that we're going to be introducing later. Okay. So it's about a two, three mil, which is, is what we want to be okay. practicing with. Now, I was looking at that going, um, so you've drawn on that, but you haven't, there's, no, there's no drawing on the final one. But then I realized, Hello, there's <laughs> a bit of a bright spark. Uh, that actually, you've still got the sheets, the protective sheets. Absolutely, over yeah. So keep so everything nice. on at this stage. <laughs> and then Genius. we can start drilling. <gasps> the We've got one of these it. coming up as well, which I'm quite excited about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so in the Dremel itself, what we have ready to go is just one of the normal drill bits. I think this is about about a two mil 
drill size. Yeah. We're not going to be drilling all the way through because what we want to do is um, just introduce almost like a pilot um, groove and then finish that off with another drill bit later. So what we're going to do, on a low setting, it comes with um, high and low setting. I always work with the low setting on the Perspex just because it's a little bit more easier to control. Turn it onto the low. And it's just like a pen, you hold it just like a pen. And drill down. You don't want to drill all the way through, just lightly onto the surface. It's just creating a little groove. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to go mad. It will just start, sort of be the sort of guide of where you're going to put those gems. Exactly right. And again, I'm lifting it off every time and then just introducing it down ever so gently onto the surface of the perspex. That's quite powerful, isn't it? Even though that's a low setting, that's still yeah, pretty... Yeah, it's still quite powerful. And again, pretty on it. Because, because the Perspex is a nice soft medium, it will go through it quite quickly yeah. as well. So you just need to watch that. Yeah, cool. Um, the great thing with the Perspex using the Dremel is it's just very, very, very easy to manoeuvre. You're not battling with it. It's a very, very, very simple medium. And the Dremel being sort of your cordless, portable, you're not getting tangled up in anything. It's very, very easy to use. Once we've gone around the whole design, introducing all the little pilot holes, we just need to change the drill bit into um, more of like a, it's a, like a gem setting drill bit, if you like, uh, which I seem to have just thrown <laughs> liberally somewhere on my, <laughs> on my table here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so when, when, because we've got all these different settings, we've got all these, oh my goodness, all these amazing, amazing things mm -hmm. that we do have all of that in here, yeah? Yeah, yeah. This is your um, polishing kit. So you've got all of your sanding papers, your polishing mops. You've even got um, sort of your jeweler's rouge in there as well, which is used for polishing and finishing. Um, in the per, um, in the Dremel kit itself, you also get more drill bits and things as well. So you get more in here. Um, I've also noticed as well that um, this is multi-purpose. This yes. is not just for jewellery making. Absolutely it's not. It's actually... A picture of a guy sanding a, a window. Yep. So <laughs> be careful. Be careful your husbands don't steal these. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, all right, I'm going to have a little look at these because we've got that's so good, isn't it? Multi, literally multi. Share it. Yeah, there you go. Split the cost and share it. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Um, that, look at all of this that we get in here. Oh, oh, there they are. Yeah, oh, there's more. Channels. Yes, yeah. Oh, my goodness loads, me. So not only do we get, we're going to go these ones. We've got these as well. So we've got um, all the different sort of width sizes that you're going to need. Uh, we've got oh, incredible settings in there as well. Loads in there. <laughs> and we've got some, uh, like um, some um, ooh, stencils in there as well. Yeah, because if you want to do engraving, anything like that, you can use the stencils. Yeah, and perfect. If you're not, if, also, if you're not sort of, the best sort of drawer as well. So yep. that's nice to get you started. Uh, obviously the drill and the charger. So loads of them loads to be able to loads. use. Yeah, back in there. That's amazing, all of that. Lovely. Good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just change change the drill bit. Now you see at the front of the Dremel you've got a little lock button just there. Cool. So we're doing bit wow, we're doing the the this is the Dremel set, yeah? So this one. The whole thing. Oh, that is the whole thing. For sixty nine ninety five, so the whole thing. So you get um, you get all of those different sort of sizes of drills. You get the actual drill, the charger, obviously, and all of those accessories, which um, are multi purpose. Yeah, which is quite good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a really really brilliant kit to have. And like we were saying earlier, it is multi purpose across a whole range of hobbies. But it's also multi purpose for jewelry making because you can polish your. Um, polymer clay if you've got dexterity problems and you find the sanding and finishing difficult you can do that with polymer clay you can obviously finish your metalwork designs anything really goes cool. with the Dremel really really handy and amazing that it's cordless as well yeah it makes it really really handy I have um I have a corded Dremel at home but I use this far more because if I'm out teaching or demoing I can take it with me yeah and it's course. just a lot easier to and you don't have to you can do wherever you like I want to yeah. go outside and do it because you think it might create a mess perfect yeah. as well uh, and, I, and I don't think that we've seen this for a while. No, we either. haven't had it in stock for quite a while. I think no. maybe two, three months. We yeah, so, um, and who knows when we'll get it again. So great that we've got it now for you. Really good. There we go. Okay, so to change, change the drill bit, yep. we click in this button here yep. and keep hold of that nice and tight. And in the pack, you get um, like a little spanner. A little baby spanner. Little baby spanner. And that just clips onto, there's like little grooves at the bottom of the chuck. And it's always cat-handed, doing it away from you. But you just twist it to remove the drill. 
Well, you said that, but that didn't look, even look that it's difficult. It's not difficult. It's easier when you obviously can do it towards yourself yeah. because you've got more control over it and you're seeing what you're doing. Yeah. Obviously, you demo it to Ben on camera. <laughs> it's always Hi, good fun. <laughs> and again, it, because... Ben's all over it now. He's like, I've got it. I can I've got do it. it. I can do this one. And again, the drill bits are different sizes. So yeah. you, you, your drill elements are quite thin. Then your other sort of polishing mops and, and beveled gem setting pieces are thicker. So we just need to push in the blue button uh, open up, I hope I'm opening that up, other way, <laughs> <laughs> open up and you see I'm just twisting it and that inside, those little chucks inside open up. Like, like a normal drill. Just like a normal just like drill. A normal drill. And again, finger tighten to the point you can't tighten it anymore, then introduce the spanner back in, like so, yep. finger down still on that blue bit and just twist to make sure that's cool. nice and secure. So is, the, is that blue bit an actual look just somewhere to put your finger? No, that is, it's a button and it, and it oh, clicks, it, it literally clicks down and sort of holds all the, the drill element in place Perfect. so it unlocks and things. Easy, easy. Okay. So we've done all our, our pilot um, lights sort of guides and things onto the Perspex itself. Using the low setting again, we're just going to follow those. This makes a great noise, by the way. <laughs> Have it. <laughs> and we're just opening those drill holes up a yeah. little bit more. So we sort of started it a bit like we did with the saw ring. We sort of exactly. created that first sort of setting and then off to go. It just allows you much more control over where you're putting your settings. Because if you go in onto an area which isn't drilled, it's difficult, it slips about until yeah. it gets a purchase. Okay, cool. So you need to do those initial, you initial do. drills. Again, it just makes a neater finish because it, it's got a guide to go nicely in there. Yeah. So, finish up all, all the drilling, all of the design is done. We have to use imagination here. Um, <laughs> and we can then go through and just make sure we're happy with the finish on the sides of the perspex as well. Now, I know we've got some sanding sponges coming up and needle yep. files coming up. Yep. And that's all used to neaten off the edges, neaten around the corners, and bring that back that highly polished finish as well. So, give it sort of that professional look. Yes, yep. exactly that. Good. Okay, so we put that to one side. What we want to do at this stage now is create the curve to your bangle. So all we do is we can remove the um, perspex surface or the plate sheeting yeah. at this time. You with see, the drawing on it. Yeah, with the drawing on it. So you see, obviously, <laughs> if you had the whole design, all those little drill holes would be ready to receive a gemstone. Yeah. Um, remove the film both back and front. Yeah. OK. It's lovely and messy, this. <laughs> you get like, lots of sticky bits and bobs all over the place when you take off the um, perspex. Covering. So it doesn't even matter, like if you were to use like the darker colour yep. and you wanted to do a drawing on, because you've got those sort of covers over the top and bottom, yep. makes no difference how many times you, because I'm terrible, if I'm drawing, I'm like, ah, rub it out, start again, rub it out, start well, again. Yeah, exactly. So at least you've got, you've got that sort of look, you can do it as many times as you like. You can like, do it as many you? times as you like, or you can use templates like we saw in the Dremel course, yeah. earlier, if, you, if you're not so happy with freehand drawing onto it. This then goes in the oven. Now, Perspex is a type of plastic, obviously, so it has a it has a memory as well. So you pop it into the oven for about sort of 15, 20 minutes at 150 degrees C. So we're going to cook it. We're just going to cook it. <laughs> we're literally just going to bake it. And after that point, it becomes, it's a really, really weird thing to describe, but it comes really, really, really flexible. So it comes out and you sort of, oh, okay, great. So really sort of malleable. Yeah, really, really malleable. It, okay. What you want to be doing is making sure you've got everything prepped ready to work with because it will call in and will go off within about two, three minutes. Grab it out of the oven and use something like a tin can or um, like a tumbler, something like that. And, and hairspray just can. Pans, yeah, any, well, perhaps not hairspray if it's full because it might have... Yeah, yeah that's you true, yeah, it. forget that idea. <laughs> can clearly <laughs> see I don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> tin cans are great. Um, but you can literally, obviously wearing gloves or oven gloves or something like that, form it around um, whatever device you're using to form the circle, hold it in place as it cools. Yeah. It takes about four minutes to cool properly. And then you've got your perfect bangle shape. Perfect. Like so. <laughs> cool. Okay. So that's, that's created a really, really lovely curve. And don't worry if at this point you go wrong. Because sometimes, you know, you get it out, you slip with it, and you're not quite happy with how the, the bangle looks. Put it back in the oven. It is the strangest thing. It will go completely flat again, and you can rework it. Cool. So there's no mistakes with this. That's that's as, that's good as well because then yeah. you've got no waste. Like if you if you do go wrong, it's fine. Just cook it again. Cook it again. And you can uh, you <laughs> can use it again. Use it again. Amazing. Exactly right. 
Um, so the last stage is with our glue and our gemstones. Nice. Obviously, making sure we tidy everything away as we go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I always have this, looks awful, but I always have some tissue um, handy just so I can wipe off any excess with cool. the glue and things yep. like that. And what I'm using is our Hypo Cement, which is available on our website as well. The reason why I use this one as opposed to the 6000 at this stage is because it has a lovely precision oh, applicator. It does, yeah. It's all bunged up with glue, but um, it's a really, really good tool because this is going to get right into the setting that you've created and put a lovely amount of glue exactly where you want it. So I'm just introducing that straight into the setting and I'm really filling it up. Each time I finish, I'm moving the, the glue up and away because what happens, it creates like a little, uh, like threads of glue if you like, and just moving it straight upwards instead of crossing it across the surface, just stops any of those trails of glue getting onto the surface Perfect, of Perspex. Yeah. Yeah. So although it will dry clear, you'll still yeah. be able to see it, so you sort of want to... Yeah, you can just wipe them off um, afterwards as well, because again, you're working on a, a polish finish, but it's just easier. Cool. And how long How long do you think you need before that dries? Like how quickly do you need it, to It dries quite quickly, um, but I always like to leave it just a little while, kind just so it goes tacky. Tacky, then, then they'll definitely stay. Yeah, exactly. Now the important thing with this is to remember, put the gemstones on, and then leave them be. <laughs> Don't try and fiddle with them like I always do. I, I would think, do that too, I think. Always I'd a try, like, yeah, <laughs> poking them off. But you'll see the reason why we've put these little indents into the perspex itself is because these gemstones fit beautifully. And they just sit, don't they? And they sit down and it sort of holds the gemstone in place. So you haven't got, although you've got some of the gemstone sort of proud over the edge of the perspex, That's it sits fine, down yeah. into the. But it sounds like a little cubby. Yeah, exactly sitting. right. Do you remember those games that you had with the um, sort of balls and the yes, and then the I had to try and get them in. Yeah, it's just like that game. <laughs> to say, like yes, flavor. I do remember those. Yeah, bit frustrating if I remember. <laughs> yeah, you can obviously little seed beads and things. It does take a little bit of time just to pop, make sure that they're all sitting securely. I love the fact though that the bit that you the sort of hard bit, making sure the design is correct and everything's going to be in straight lines and yeah, that's already done. Isn't that's it? already done. All you've got to do is just worry about those gems. Yeah. Um, as I'm going, I'm letting them sink down into the setting and I'm just tapping them into place as well. Just making sure that they're really sitting nice and firm into that little groove we made and then I leave it. Amazing. I just let it just dry maybe four or five hours on the side and it is literally as easy as that. Cool. That, that was easy. <laughs> it was quite easy, that one. And once we're finished, wow. obviously we've got a design like we can see in the front there as well. Yeah. Uh, we have a question, did you say? Oh, a couple of questions are ready. Go for it. Okay, so it says, uh, I suffer from extreme pain and weak arms and hand. Uh, would this be okay for me to try and would you recommend uh, or advise anything that would help? Um, it's a difficult one. I, um, I too suffer from um, dexterity problems and things and I can manage on good days quite happily without a problem. Anything like this, what I would suggest just make sure with your doctor first because if you're introducing something like a Dremel into your work things like that it obviously it has like a high vibration yeah. rate so you don't you don't really want to do any any damage but because it is so 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 easy to cut I really don't think you you will struggle no, at all. No and it's it's not it's not pressure at all no. when I say it's not pressure at all that's cutting it it's just the fact that it is yeah. the, the cutting of the blade itself you're not sort of you know if you well, I never cut wood, so I wouldn't say where you cut wood, but you know you have to put real yeah. effort into it to make those blades. You don't at all You with don't, that. and you can also take your time with it as well. Yeah. Obviously, we, we're trying to sort of rush through it, so we, you've got a proper demo at the end of it, but for you at home, you can just sit and cut a little bit, maybe leave it for a little while, and then Come back going. to it, yeah. yeah. No, rush is there, it's rush. your own time, it's your <laughs> stuff, yeah. Um, did you say we had another one? Ooh, good, good. Uh, uh, for Maureen, hi Hannah, uh, what am I doing wrong? Why can't I cut through perspex to make designs? Yeah, I would say nine times out of ten, it's either the saw blade's too loose. Um, so you notice with my one, there's no, there's a slight give in it, but it's not wobbling all over the place. If you've got something that's too loose, um, there's no tension in the saw blade itself. So you need to make sure that's nice and tight and just go slowly with it. A lot of people um, go in really, really, really hard, pushing on, on the perspex itself. The saw blade's not gonna be able to work like no. that. Just really, really gently up and down, really, really slow, 
um, concise movements and you'll you'll find your cat no problem. Is that is that sort of a, a general where if if because so, you came up with that answer really fast? Yeah, so yeah. I see maybe a lot of people would yeah, do that. Like. They do, and I think it's because you're you're using a tool, so you instantly think, right, I've got to really work hard with yeah. this. And it's it's just one of those things when you're cutting sheets of something, you think automatically you need to put pressure behind yeah. it. You really, really, really don't. No, you really don't. I wasn't sort of making any effort at all. I still need to go to the gym, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but it is really easy, and it is just the fact that it is the motion of the blades itself yes. as opposed to any pressure. So nice. Oh, we've got one more. Ooh. Uh, oh, hi there. Does this set have polishing heads too? Yes, it does. Yes, it yes. does. It has the uh, okay. several different sets of polishing heads actually. Um, but if you look along the front of the picture, where you've got the little pot and the two white mops, those are your polishing sets. And of course, towards the back of the, the photo there as well, you've got all your different polishing mops, including um, brush sets if you want to satinise your metal. Um, then you've got sanding sets um, again for metal and woodwork, even polymer if you want to make quite a quick sanding job or something. And you also have um, different rubber. Um, head blades to the end of these drill bits as well. So lots and lots of different polishing sets there. Yeah, loads. There's lo actually loads in there. <laughs> really is, oh, really that, is. that can't be the price for all of that. I think <laughs> like for the drill and all those different sort of, I was like, that, that must be that. That's why I was like, I'm not going to put that in because I don't want to get, no, it is in, it is in. <laughs> and there is loads there, really loads. And I just think it's great that you can uh, you can share it and do a bit of a DIY with it as well. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Lots Perfect. and lots of different ways to use that Dremel set, which is great. Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. So uh, with those sort of sets, so we've just seen exactly how easy it is to mm -hmm. sort of make all those sort of pieces. Um, this was this one that you were doing, wasn't it? So yeah. I'm going to have a little look at this. And sort of how easy, so it's easy to just pop on. It's not going to sort of, got a little bit of give in it still. It's got a tiny bit of give in it, um, but it, it goes really, really, really solid again after it cools. Yeah. Um, so it's the sort of thing, perfect for cuffs and bangles because it's a nice rigid frame. You can also introduce things if you want to do wire wrapping. Uh, I have a bangle here which is just the same same take on a, a different theme really um, so I've used the Dremel to cut holes into the perspex <gasps> itself and then just wire wrapped stars That's onto cool. it you can wire wrap gems onto it and for an even more professional finish and um, rather than sort of leaving the back all open there with the the wire you can line it with things like leather um, I know Gemma had a set of leather on this morning which yep. would be great for lining these kind of things too uh, absolutely perfect so there's so much you could you could put a, could put a gemstone in the yep. middle couldn't you yeah um, or like a black one or maybe like that um, the pyrite that we had looked oh, lovely in there. amazing and that's what we've done with the um, sort of the if you like the tribal -y, um geometric designs there as well so rather than just going black on the, the frost we've got the gold perspex highlighted with the silver pyrite onyx and the clear quartz there as well that looks so cool that's really high fashion as well. When I was looking, when I was looking at sort of, I, I always go and have a look at Catwalk and sort yeah. of see actually what the sort of big designers were. And it's always sort of much sort of bigger design. This sort of stuff was really popular. It is really, really, popular. really popular. And actually I took that sort of design idea um, from Becky, uh, presenter Becky had a couple of fee festival photos up on her presenter oh, page. Oh yeah. And she's wearing a big triangular um, acrylic necklace. So I thought, Festival wear. I know what I can do. Festival, festival wear. wear. There's a few more coming up as well. Yeah, <laughs> perfect for festival wear. Now we do have, now tell me about this. Okay. We have got um, a 12 piece file mm -hmm. set. We've got that that feels like sandpaper. <laughs> And we've got the file as well. Now, obviously, you were using the file itself to um, to smooth down, to round up all the yeah. edges, give it that really full final touch. Um, the all of these implements are used for obviously filing and, and sanding and finishing and polishing. So you go in straight off with your your flat um, file there, which takes off a lot of the sort of big nicks and anything like that. For finer detail work, if you've worked something like filigree, you want to go in with your needle files. Now, the great thing about the needle files is these are all shaped and formed, so you can get into all different sizes of oh, different okay. creases, yeah. different curves, anything like that. And then you finish off with your, your sanding sponge as well. Now, we have different versions of this on the, web, the website, all different finesses. And rather than keeping it as a big sheet, I make mine last longer by cutting them up into Perfect. little squares. Makes it much easier to use, I would imagine, yeah. as well. Yeah, and again, all you have to do is just get your rough surface area there, sand along. And the nice thing about the, um, the sanding sponge is it hugs the side, so you're pushing down onto it. Oh, yeah. It's hugging the side of the perspex, and it's curving it ever so slightly as well. So you literally, very, very, very quickly, can get rid of all of those marks 
along the perspex yeah. surface there as well. Very, very good medium. These are also wet and dry, so you can use the, so the sanding sponges um, with your polymer clay as well. Oh, perfect. So really versatile. Also, you used these as well to start the nicks, didn't you? Yeah, for I used needle files for nicks. Um, all of that to get the saw in properly and get it started. Mm -hmm. So uh, an amazing amount. So we've got 12 pieces here of nail files with Obadi can use like lots of different things for. So uh, we've also got the sanding sponge and the flat file with the handle, with the wooden handle. So uh, quite a substantial amount here. So you think really with all of these, you could get into any kind of design, yep. anything you want to really smooth it over, get things started and give it that really sort of personal sort of professional finish yes. really. Yeah. And this obviously, yeah, you're right, would go a long way, especially if you're going to cut it up like yeah. that and would sort of create smooth lines across it across the whole lot. So uh, a real necessity really for sort of more professional look for it as well and sort of more comfort as well, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Amazing. Look at that. All of that. So it should be should be 1885 should be 1885 okay so for all of that we should be at 1885 but because we're doing it as a set for you we're not doing it at 1885 today we're doing it at 1285 a good price. It is a good price. <laughs> Twelve pounds eighty-five pence. Twelve pounds eighty-five pence for all this. It should be eighteen eighty-five. Um, but because we do are selling it all together for you, we're going to do a bit of a bulk buy price for you. We're doing twelve pounds eighty-five instead. Uh, that's an amazing, amazing saving. Uh, and like I said, we are going to you're going to use every single one of these because it's not you just think oh I'm never going to use twelve. They are all different. They are all different. So they are sort of used for lots and lots of different things. So you want to have all that variety to be able to create variations within your jewellery as well when you are doing perspex. Um, so perfect there. So you've got the main file here, uh, then we've got the 12 file set and the sponges as well for just £12.85. £12.85. And as we said, if you were to buy these all individually, you'd be paying £18. So £12.85 is quite a substantial saving. That's really good, uh, especially when they're going to be so useful as they well. They are really useful. And the great thing about um, obviously your needle file sets, your file, something like that, it will last you an incredible amount of time. I've had mine um, for about six, seven years. Oh, wow. And it, it keeps going, <laughs> which is brilliant so for someone as clumsy as me. Wow. So I think if you are going to get it, now is the time to get it. Yeah, definitely. Because we've got you an amazing saving. And once you've got it, that's it. You're not really going to need a new one no. anytime not, soon. Not anytime soon. Unless anytime you like me soon. and lose your needle files. All oh, time. yeah. That would be me. Yeah. That would be me. I kind of like put something down, walk away. It's and gone. <laughs> I think the fairies take it, to be honest with you. I don't think I lose it at all. Uh, but yeah, all of that, if you are going to grab it, now is the time to do it because you normally would pay over £18. So the fact that we've bought it all together, we've got twelve eighty-five instead. So, and like you say, just going to last and last and last mm -hmm. and last. So totally worth grabbing, especially now at that great price. And we've also got some of these, which are amazing. All those colours. They're fabulous, aren't they? Really, really bright and rich colours. They are really, really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Okay, I'm just going to move these out of the way. There we go, let's pop that there and pop that there. Um, so I'm just going to show, all, look at all of these colours. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> so we've got like a royal blue, sort of a turquoise, a navy, yellow a really bright red colour and that gorgeous green. Now you said that we haven't seen these colours. These ones are um, our standard colours. Yeah. With the next pack coming up uh, later on the show, those are brand new. But these are great because these are all your opaque colours, so you can't see through them. So you're getting a lot, a lot more vibrant colour mm -hmm. and shine from these. Really, really gorgeous. They are sort of, well, because you've got primary colours in there yeah. as well, and they're sort of going to be used for sort of most things, aren't we? They are called Bright and Beautiful, and Bright and Beautiful they are. They are really, really beautiful. <laughs> I love all those colours. Wonderful reds, yellows, greens, those sort of mix of blues in there as well. Uh, so, yeah, I think really, if you are sort of making more uh, brighter coloured, sort mm. of this is, the, all of these are going to be perfect, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's important not to forget you can scale these down. So, if you want to make little um, brooches, for the winter, if you want to make um, anything, just absolutely anything, letter pendants are great from the Perspex in these colours because they're really, really stand yeah. out vibrantly. Oh yeah, perfect, of course. Yeah, they would be really nice. And I think because you can make, I think on winter days you want nice bright things yeah. to wear, don't you? Yeah. Because it gets a bit dreary all on its own. So I think making things with these sort of bright colours are 
I'm just going to cheer you up a little bit, I think. <laughs> uh, really nice. So really bright blues, yellows, reds and greens in there as well. So bright and beautiful. Uh, we've got six Perspex sheets there, six Perspex sheets. Um, Okay, should should be eleven pounds and seventy pence. Should be eleven pounds and seventy pence. We've got six of them, so that's only two pounds per sheet, anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're not stopping there, though. We're going to nine ninety five. Nine ninety five. That's for six sheets. Six sheets. So not. Uh, yeah, six sheets for nine ninety five. Yeah, it definitely it goes a long, long way. Treat it like um, like you would fabric or a pattern in a fabric, and get the most out of it. Make sure your templates all fit around in the yeah, same shape. Yeah, like don't don't waste any. Like yeah. if you're going to put sort of make sure the pieces go next to each yeah. other, and then you're going to get the absolute most out of them, aren't you? And I think for nine ninety five for all of these, that's quite. That's a lot. That is, it's a lot of perspex, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? And, and how, how does it go? Like if you want to sort of layer them up or yep, put them absolutely. together? Or if you want to sort of stack them together, um, layer them up, anything like that, perhaps you can create some really gorgeous art deco themes by stacking them. What you have to remember is because you're working with a very highly polished surface, you need to, any surface that you want to stick together, rough those surfaces up. So take the files, take the needle files, take that high shine off yeah. in places that you're not going to obviously see the rest of the design. E6000 glue, sandwich them together, let them dry, and you can literally stack the perspex. Oh, I love it. All those gorgeous colours as well, stacked together, would look really bright and vibrant. Love all them. Beautiful. So, uh, I have loved all of this, and there's more to come, <laughs> more which to is come. very exciting. Yep. There's more to come. So, uh, yeah, and we've got a challenge coming up. We're going to give you those beautiful, um, were they the red ones? Oh, the red, uh, the red, yes. Loads and loads of stuff coming up. We'll be back after this. Don't go anywhere. Hi jewelry makers, if you're a Freeview viewer, you can now continue to watch the show live by switching over to channel 64. Our brand new 24 hour channel is available to the majority of homes in the UK, so grab your remote now to make sure you don't miss a thing. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that the Jewelry Maker phone number is free from a UK landline? Now you can spend those extra pennies on more shopping. If you're new to Jewelry Maker, simply contact our call centre and we'll send you a tutorial DVD and Get Started booklet all free of charge. Welcome back, welcome back to Designer Inspiration. I love this show so much. I really do because, because I can sort of see exactly all those amazing creations. And I think when you get these pieces, when you sort of uh, see the visual and all the things that you can do, and especially how easy it is, uh, it makes sort of, it sort of brings it all to life, doesn't it? Because if I was to just see sort of a sheet of Perspex, I'd kind of go, well, I don't really know what to do with that. It's lovely color, but that would be it. Because we've got you, Hannah. It is amazing because you can see exactly what it is and all these amazing designs come to life. So lovely. All right. Shall we get started? What are we going to do? Ooh. Oh, my goodness me. Okay. So we've only seen this twice. You say twice? These are emeralds. These are emeralds. 
Oh my goodness me. Okay, so uh, we have got one of your precious, precious gemstones right here. Right here, look at, wow. Uh, not only do we have one of your precious gemstones, there's a quite, yeah, 245 carats worth of emeralds. Now, emeralds themselves have been sort of treasured for centuries and it is a gemstone actually that is, is one of your precious gemstones and it is because the amount that it goes through to be created. Now, they have to have sort of the right, they have to have the right temperature. They have to have um, the right pressure. They have to have sort of what I call the right ingredients. As it gets pushed from the earth through with the magma, if the magma goes too quickly and it cools too fast, this gemstone doesn't exist doesn't exist so the amount of things that need to occur all at the same time is just sort of incredible and that's why it's one of your precious gemstones because it just doesn't doesn't occur without all those amazing things happening now this is absolutely stunning I love this kind of marble effect inside this gem how beautiful is this strand so so stunning and because again because it is one of your precious precious gems um, you don't need to use a lot of it, do you? You really don't need to use a lot of it because it's sort of standout statement all on its own. These are emeralds. These are emeralds. Uh, I love the fact as well, I'm just going to show you, look at the size of them in the centre. That is absolutely, what an amazing pendant that would make. That would, that would be an amazing pendant. Absolutely stunning on its own. Also, I think, I'm going to grab one of these ones. Hello, it's like you read my mind. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I think these would look, this would look amazing, amazing as a ring. Now, as I said before, I'm a massive fan of statement jewelry, massive fan of statement jewelry. Uh, that would be amazing. I think we sort of silver wire work around it and that beautiful setting. And as we were saying before, you know, when you have sort of um, a more delicate dress, maybe just a little black dress because mm -hmm. it's classic and it's beautiful. Then you put statement jewellery with it and it just lifts it, doesn't it? It gives it a massive it. edge. Definitely. Um, so I think when you are looking at pieces like this, ah, just amazing, absolutely amazing. Now there is so much of it, so much of it. 245 carats worth, but let's not forget, these are emeralds, one of your precious, precious gemstones. And I have to say, I love, I love all the kind of artwork that is inside these beautiful gems. They are stunning and they have been treasured for centuries, absolutely for centuries. Uh, and there's a reason for that. There's a real reason for that. These are going to be extremely, extremely popular if you are using this beautiful gem. Um, just because it's one of your precious gems. Uh, there were four, there's now five because we've added tanzanite, but still one of your five precious gems. Out of all the gemstones that you can, that you can get, and there's quite a few of all, it is a gemstone that is, is been labeled one of the most precious ones. Actually, I think, yeah, I think you're right. If you sort of asked anyone if they'd heard of emeralds, pretty much everyone's gonna say yes. Everyone's gonna say yes. Um, so I think that's amazing that we have so much of it. I love all that one, like I say, it has got beautiful, beautiful artwork inside that gemstone. Really, really stunning artwork. Just so, so beautiful. It is at 245 carats of emerald. I think the main thing that you need to do when you're looking at this particular strand is the fact that they are sort of, they're such large gemstones on their own. It's, oh, that's got, I don't know if you can, can you get that? It's got, I don't know if you can, I hope so. It's got amazing, like a rainbow, like labradorescence across it. Can you see it? Oh, I don't know if you can. Can you see the gold? Oh, wow. That is awesome. I love the way that catches the light. That is beautiful. We have got so much of it. So I think what you need to look at when you are sort of looking at these sort of strands with a substantial amount, look at that, a substantial amount it is. You're not, you're not gonna use. Oh, hello. Oh, imagine that, I'm just gonna put that a little bit lower. Imagine that as a drop down pendant, that's a center one there. Yeah, that would be perfect, wasn't it? And I think that's the thing, when you're looking at a strand like this, you don't really need to sort of um, worry about using lots of them because they're, it's statement enough on its own, the size of it, the beauty of it, and the fact that it is emeralds. You don't need to use like four in a piece. You really don't. You're only gonna use sort of one and use a beautiful, beautiful piece. Look at that. I love that they're faceted as well, so they sparkle. 
This is such a beautiful piece. It's one of your precious gemstones and we're giving you 245 carats of it. 245 carats of these beautiful, beautiful emeralds. They're all faceted as well, so they're catching sparkle. I think when you look at it, they have got, um, and everyone is individual as well. Everyone is individual. 34.95, 34.95 for emeralds. I have to say, okay, so I'm gonna say, I work on the other channels, um, and I have to say, if I, was, if I was to get an emerald ring like this, so just one, just one, and it was about this sort of size. I, no, I'm not sure that I've ever seen one this sort of size, actually. We, we would probably pay that sort of price, about that sort of price, maybe sort of 25, maybe 35, 40, something like that. So I think for the fact that you could get one piece of jewelry that you could definitely sort of sell if you are a seller, for the same price that we're sort of selling the whole strand for. Did you just work it out, Helena? How much How much would it be each? £3.18 for one of the gems. So one of these, £3.18. And I'm telling you, even if, even if you made a piece and you sold it at £20, if you sold it at £20, what an amazing, amazing profit. And these are emeralds. They are just beautiful emeralds with an amazing artwork inside there at 34.95. 34.95. So if you are a seller and even if you're not even if you're just buying these pieces to make for yourself, um, that is an amazing saving. Um, and you can make lots of different jewelry. You could make a pendant, you could make a statement ring, beautiful little drop earrings, uh, whatever it is that you want to make. You're going to make it unique and yours, so no one else is going to have one. But you are making them out of emeralds and if you were to look in the shops and sort of go, go and have a look and see what uh, an emerald an emerald wrong would probably cost you would be deaf than that definitely more than that 34.95 for the whole strand whole strand of that they are gorgeous absolutely beautiful i'm going to pop them back there they were um some more pearls look at the, look at the color of this you, ah, you're quite right in there. If I could have worn a more app top, I don't think so. These are so gorgeous. Obviously, I'm a fan of this colour. Beautiful kind of pinky peach colour. How feminine. How feminine are they? Really beautiful, beautiful. And they're pearls. So you've got the height of elegance. And you've got a very, very feminine look to them because of that beautiful colour. Now, I did say that we were getting more. These are beautiful and round, aren't they? They are absolutely perfect. So this is your peach shell pearl uh, in those rounds that couldn't be more perfect, I don't think, if you tried. So they are amazing. They've got a wonderful pearl. They've got almost like a golden pearl essence over the top of them. Yeah, they are beautiful, really beautiful. Uh, I'm just going to have a little look for you. Oh, look how well they go with my... Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I've got the gems right next to each other at the back. Yeah, yeah, right next. So you could make, you could make an entire necklace out of that. Or if you want to, because generally all you're going to see probably is sort of the bit around the front that sort of drops down to the delicolage. You could probably, probably make two. I reckon you could make two out of them as well. Yeah, you could make drop earrings out of them. You could make sort of more, um, you've still got that elegance and that beauty with them. Um, and adjust, you could use so much out of them and do sort of more sort of uh, modern designs out of them. I think that's why these sort of pearls are so, are so versatile because you could use them for modern designs. You can use them for sort of classic, elegant looks. Definitely, definitely. Um, and they are so perfect so so perfect in their shape wonderful color very feminine but with that beauty of elegance and they have got a beautiful gold and sheen over the top so are you okay so if if you are looking if you are um looking at sort of very similar sort of faux pearls on the on the high street would you say about 15 pounds about 15 pounds and you're getting a whole necklace out that if you want all you could do is just restring it put a clip on it and you're done if you want to uh, and you would be paying uh, so you reckon about 15 pounds okay good so that gives you that gives you a bracket of how much you pay for a whole necklace uh, no okay so I'm telling you we're doing a crazy price so if you were to buy wow 
Oh my goodness me, six pounds and 95 bits for all of this. Knowing that if you were to buy a whole one of these on the high street, you would be looking at about 15 pounds. And we're now getting you for 6.95, 6.95. This is amazing. These are so beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous. They are so, so stunning. Very feminine, very beautiful feminine color to them. Not only that, they've got a wonderful golden pearlescence over the top of them. Um, they are so, so stunning. And at 6.95, 6.95, what a beautiful, beautiful piece. I have to say, 6.95 for all of them. You're gonna make an, in you can make, if you want, an entire necklace out of them. And I think at 6.95 for an entire necklace, that's pretty amazing. Um, and I think for the fact that you could make so much out of them as well, they're so versatile, but they're so beautiful and elegant. Uh, I love the fact that they've got that golden sheen. That is so pretty. Beautiful peach shell pearl rounds. Uh, they're approximately about 12 millimeters, and they are stunning at just 6.95 for all of them. If you're gonna pay about 15 pounds for a whole strand of pearls, normally if you're gonna buy them uh, on the high street, uh, about 15 pounds, that is an incredible, incredible saving. You can make them to suit you because you are the creator people now you are the ones that are going to be able to sort of do exactly what you want to it maybe you want to make just a straight necklace absolutely you've already saved over half already saved over half or maybe you want to make sort of matching earrings maybe you just want to sort of have a more modern look um, and have them dropping down the front whatever it is that you want to do with these these are so so beautiful because they are so elegant they are just glamour, aren't they? They are red carpet pieces, absolute red carpet pieces. I love the fact that um, because they are the, um, the the shell pearl that they have got just perfection in those rounds. Absolute perfection, beautiful colour, very feminine, really just the epitome of elegance. I love them, beautiful, I love that. Um, we are gonna, ooh, on here. Ah, here we go. Ooh, okay. So these are lovely. Okay, so um, the thing about this particular gemstone is it is incredibly, incredibly rare. Now, when it comes to amethyst itself, you instantly think regal royal purple. The gemstone itself is sort of created in what's called a geode. And it's like a, like a protective boulder as it, as it crystallizes. As that happens, sort of mother nature sort of looks after it and cares for it. That's why you get lovely clarity in the gemstone, really nice. Um, unlike emeralds where it has to like put up with a lot, the beautiful amethysts sort of are really protected as they grow and as they crystallize. Mother nature will, um, cool the geode or warm it when it warms it goes to that wonderful citrine so they're the same gemstone but just sort of heated we can do it mother nature does it as well mother nature does it as well it's an incredible phenomena actually the only gemstone i think that when heated gets lighter the rest get darker in saturation so that makes it nice and rare in itself as well when you see pinks well you don't see it you just don't see it because we go from the depth of purple and then we go to the sort of wonderful golden citrine so at one point at what point do you see the pink? You just don't. So I love the fact that we have got so many of them here. They're really, really rare. You don't see them very often. We don't sort of see them very often uh, generally in jewellery either. They're very, very popular. Actually, I even had a lot of people asking last night when I was uh, when I was sort of doing sort of jewellery pieces last night, asking for more Rosa Frank. But it's really hard to get, really hard to get because it is incredibly rare because you just don't see this beautiful colour because we go from the depth of purple and as it heats, it doesn't sort of get deeper, it doesn't get lighter, it goes, it changes colour. Change colour to the beautiful citrine. So that's, that's what sort of happens. So you do sort of wonder, when do you see the pink? When do you see the pink? That's what makes it so rare. Um, Rose de France is a very similar colour and, it, and it's sort of only 5% of all amethysts are sort of that colour. We've got this beautiful pink colour, very, very similar. And we really don't sort of see it very often at all. I love the fact that they're faceted as well. It makes them sparkle, but you can see the amazing clarity inside this gemstone, sort of got lovely diaphanity in comparison to some other ones. And that's because it is so sort of looked after and so protected so so protected as it sort of grows um we are just having a little bit i think a, a little bit of a technical problem because uh, you did see all the sort of graphics of what we had and the prices we're going to go to and they have disappeared but it's all right because we're sorting it it's not a problem uh, it's not a problem um so yeah do bear with us do bear with us but don't worry we're still here we're still here um so this is beautiful pink amethyst like i say so incredibly rare to see this gemstone. Beautiful sparkles across the front. They really are stunning. 
they are tiny little facets as well so they really really sparkle and um, they are graduated as well I'm just going to show you all the way along here so they are really they are graduated um, so the smaller ones on the outside maybe you might want to use as little drop earrings maybe they look really pretty wouldn't they or if you want to sort of have more statement pieces in the center um, sort of going out going out you could have sort of a statement piece in the middle of a pendant and sort of wrap it out and sort of they could change in size would be really lovely sort of creating a very unique look I think as well um, but like I say they have got lovely lovely diaphanity to them really lovely diaphanity and that means that you get a lovely brilliance inside the gem where it sort of sparkles as the light hits it there you go Oh, it's really, really pretty. And like I say, it's it's really rare to see this colour. Pink amethyst is not sort of your the run of the norm colour that you will see in amethyst. It's normally kind of the deep purples when it gets warm. Go to those sort of beautiful citrine colours, and we're sort of going with the pink. And you, there's not really a point where you go, yep, yeah, it'll go from purple to pink to yellow because it doesn't. It just goes from the purple to the yellow, and and that's kind of what happens. So that's why it's so so rare so so rare and it's lovely i love that sort of we've got all those wonderful different colors in there as well they sort of go from the more lilac -y colors through those sort of deeper colors straight through to that almost almost verging on the depth of color of the amethyst and um, but going out around all that gorgeous lilac color which is really really pretty beautiful light pink color here on the end as well so really lovely the way it sort of glistens in the light got a beautiful brilliance in it and that color is sort of almost a purity of color carrying on with that really sort of feminine feminine feel as well so it's a lovely lovely gemstone and like I say the fact that it is that it is graduated like that sort of gives the whole strand versatility really doesn't it so 90 wow 90 carats worth of pink amethyst the graduated facets uh, beautiful drops were about 9 by 5 to 15 by 6 millimeter and the whole strand is 20 centimeters really really pretty piece really gorgeous and I love got beautiful kind of pinks in there as well really really lovely piece so um, yeah that's really lovely um, we, are, we have given you a bit of a challenge over there Hannah haven't we um, I'm intrigued to know what you might be doing um, lots of earrings at the moment are you it's a really really lovely kit to work with the colors are just fabulous yeah they are really bright actually aren't they really bright which is lovely um, and I think although we said sort of perfect for Christmas they're sort of got all year round span haven't they yes they really have because you've got really hot almost hot red tones like a hot pink through some of the quartzite there and then you've got a deeper red and of course a beautiful tone off of garnet as well just really really lovely kit to work with that's really nice and so this is this is you're working with another kit another little bundle that we're going to do together which mm -hmm. is lovely and so you can absolutely see exactly uh, what you can do with all this there's so much th so many things that you can do so so many things which i think is amazing as well and we've got to bring you lots of different pieces uh we've got that sort of beautiful reds that we showed you earlier uh i'm just going to show you these again because this is this is what you're working on for your challenge isn't it? Woo! Yeah. These colours are amazing. <laughs> Woo! -hoo, they say in the gallery. Woo! -hoo. Uh, these are lovely, actually. Really lovely. Uh, so this was this was your challenge. We did bring these a little bit earlier, but I just thought I'd re-reference them because um, uh, we can then see exactly what you can do with them. Uh, this really lovely. This beautiful, almost raspberry sort of raspberry kind of ready pink colour. The depth there really has got a sort of almost like a cherry colour, and then an, and then the beautiful kind of. Um, colour on the end of your garnet that's really lovely so they are really really beautiful really really beautiful they're all faceted as well so as you're wearing them you say you're making earrings yeah I've made a few Ooh. a few earrings how oh, good awesome. you're so fast that's amazing yeah <laughs> look you know, at you go so has got a whole stall up already <laughs> I always find earrings are a great place to start with a bundle like right. it because it gives you that momentum. You can you can quickly make a pair in like two, three minutes wow. and you already feel like you've achieved something so it just gets you working harder on them as well. Oh, look how pretty they are. <laughs> Those colours okay. look really nice together, don't they? Really nice. Absolutely, really, really lovely actually. So this is part of the bundle that we're going to bring a little bit later. We bought these these strands already, and so when you do uh, when you do make earrings, that that it, it is that easy, is it? Yeah, literally, all we're doing is is popping a gemstone onto a head pin in different ways. Maybe adding two gemstones, maybe maybe adding a spacer, little wrap loop, and then straight onto your shepherd hooks finding as well. Wow, really, really quick and easy. These so re you ha you are like. A machine over there. <laughs> yeah, it's like a That's little production amazing. line going on. Uh, I'm quite excited to come and see. So, if you are sort of fairly new to it as well, you think sort of to be able to create pieces and go, 
I did that. It's mm. a good way to start with earrings because they're nice and easy. Yeah, really, really nice to eat and easy. I know everyone doesn't, not everyone wears earrings and things, but to just get you started and for a practice is a good place to start with jewellery making. Yeah, that's really nice. Good stuff, good stuff. So we are doing that. We have, um, oh, yeah, shall we have a look at what we've got coming up? Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, we just because we're just sort of fixing the small issue, but we'll be, we'll be right on track very soon. I'm just going to give you a little run through of what we've got coming up, and then you can kind of go, oh, really like that. I'll wait for that one. We'll do that one. Um, so this one, this is gorgeous. This is Laramar. This is amazing Laramar. Now, if you were to think of a gemstone that would come from paradise, uh, I don't think this could be a more apt gemstone, to be honest. Don't think this could be a more apt gemstone because it literally, to me, looks like what the skies and the seas would look like. It comes all the way from the Dominican Republic um, and it really does sort of encapture all that paradise right inside that beautiful gem. Really is a stunning, stunning gemstone actually. Beautiful turquoises, gorgeous blues. Um, and it's named after the sea as well. So it was um, who the, the guy who found it, yeah. His daughter was called Larissa and it actually for, um, um, is um, sea. Uh, it means sea, Spanish, Spanish, yeah. So uh, Lara Mar, so Larissa Pa and Mar. Yeah, so it really, really is like the absolute kind of paradise encaptured in a gemstone. How amazing. Yay! Love that. Let's pop them on there. Uh, we were doing the pink amethyst. Beautiful pink amethyst. That is so, so gorgeous. Really pretty. 90 carats, as I said. So incredibly rare. At 14.95. Wow. For a rare gemstone. And we have got 90 carats of it in a 20 centimetre strand for just 14.95. 14.95. Beautiful sparkle inside that gem as well. Really, really stunning. At 14.95. I can't tell you how rare this is. It's really, really rare. We normally see the deep purples, the beautiful citrine colours, uh, but as a general rule, you do not see pink. So for 14 and 95, 14.95, uh, that's a really amazing offer, really amazing offer. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, hello. I uh, love that. Right, let's pop that back on there. Uh, let's have a look at these. These are lovely. So we have, um, as I was saying, we had sort of different sort of versions of pearls coming up, uh, and these are stunning. These look, oh, they are like a mint green colour. Oh my goodness, I love that. It's your favourite. Green is? Mint green is your favourite. Mint, not, not just green, oh no, very specific in there then. At mint green. <laughs> it has to be mint green. Uh, my favourite colour is green, so I'm going to love these. I'm going to love these, yeah. Uh, they really are sort of very refreshing, aren't they? Really refreshing piece. Really beautiful. Uh, yeah, they are. They're just sort of a really, a really refreshing colour all on their own. That beautiful mint really sort of, um, sort of, sort of, just says really sort of fresh and beautiful colour. And um, look at the, at the pearlescence on there as well. You're getting sort of depths of green, but you're also getting peaches and you're getting uh, pinks in there as well. And as I say, they are really the height of elegance, aren't they? They're, they're just the epitome of elegance, but with a bit of a twist because you've got those beautiful colours coming through, beautiful colours, beautiful mint pearls. Now you've got your Baroque pearls. Um, they're about 10 by 9 to 13 by 10, so you've got a bit of a variation as well, which is nice. A bit of versatility with it on the whole strand. Beautiful mint colour. I love the mint. Really fresh, really bright, really vibrant. Yeah, just stunning. Really, really, really stunning. Um, that's going to look beautiful. Yeah, it's like a pepperminty colour, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. I really love it. And as it catches the light, it's got a beautiful kind of peachy look to it as well. Peaches and pinks and sort of blues coming through as well. Um, pearlescence really is a lovely, lovely thing because as it hits the light, it's like a sheen, like a rainbow sheen over the front. And you do only get that with pearls. So really with all that elegance, all that beauty, all that brilliance, you are getting a beautiful, beautiful gemstone. And I love that. Wonderful, wonderful mint colour. That is so beautiful. Love it. Beautiful kind of sheen over the top. Um, oh. £7.95. £7.95 for all of them. Look how many there are. There are so, so many. Beautiful pearl essence over the top. And that mint colour is really unusual. I don't think I've ever seen pearls in a mint colour before. 
I've seen them in pinks, um, peachy colours. I've seen that beautiful Tahitian colour, black pearls. But I have never. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. Thanks very much. Uh, but I have never ever seen them in a mint colour. So I think that must. That's sort of lovely in itself. Really unusual in itself that it's got that mint colour. Gonna look lovely with any other colours because it's sort of fresh and look at that colour. Because it's so fresh, because it's sort of uh, not a really sort of intense colour on its own, but a really sort of light, beautiful kind of uh, fleck of that colour, it's going to go with pretty much anything because it is it is so sort of minty fresh, which is lovely. Um, so really versatile. You could use that with you could use that with kind of any other gemstone, any other gemstone at all. Uh, just lovely, just really, really lovely. Marion in multi buying, got Lisa Anonymous, Sandra Ann, we've got Claire, Sarah, well done to each and every single one of you. If it's sat in your baskets, you need to check it out. Um, well done, Jenny, you've got bought three, amazing. Uh, I don't blame you either because it's a, at 7 95 for pearls. Beautiful mint colour, which I have never seen before. I've never seen before, so that's really lovely. And they are going to go with pretty much anything, aren't they? They're going to go pretty much anything. I love the fact, uh, what about an intense colour? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that looks lovely. I think these are going to look beautiful with a real intense colour. Maybe sort of the tonal of the black as well, if you're doing sort of work. Um, yeah, mint and raspberry. Ooh, sounds like ice cream. Mmm, very nice. Uh, just $7.95. That really is incredible. Beautiful pearls. Lovely mint colour, which they can go with anything, whether you're sort of wrapping with silver, whether you're wrapping with gold, whether you're putting deep coloured gemstones together with it. Maybe you're just keeping white with it. Maybe just on their own. They are nice and fresh and beautiful on their own, aren't they? They're are so so lovely and just at 7.95 7.95 for the whole strand whole strand at 7.95 uh, that is really really lovely and as I said the pearlescence across the top is beautiful peachy purples and like minty sort of colors coming through as well almost like a sort of an electric color it really the pearl essence is just like when you sort of you know when oil gets drizzled over water and you get that kind of gorgeous rainbow effect because of the green that's why you're getting more sort of uh, of the greeny tones. So you're getting a green in the centre. We've got blues, purples, and a peach on the outside. Uh, a really, really beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, we don't have very many of them, so if they are in your baskets, you need to check them out because uh, I would hope for you to miss out. People are multi-buying these as well, multi-buying. So we don't have very many, and if, you, if it's sat in your basket, you might miss out. So if you've got it in your basket, check it out because at $7.95, that's a crazy, crazy deal to miss. Oh, yes, it is. Don't forget, if you've it already opened up your baskets, you only pay for postage and packaging once. Only for boosting and packaging once. Uh, so that's good. You've got your 30 day, you have your 30 day money back guarantee on here as well, don't you? Ooh, beautiful. No quibble money back guarantee. It's like risk free shopping for you, just risk free shopping. Um, so that's lovely. You've got 30 days to kind of get them home, have a look at the other pieces that you've got, decide, decide um, if it is sort of a piece for you. I think so. These are lovely. At $7.95 as well, $7.95 for all these pearls, really beautiful. Wonder, wonderful mint pearls there. I've never seen mint pearls before. I love that. They're really beautiful. Um, all righty, let's do, ooh, yeah, let's do these. Are these brand new? <laughs> you definitely said, Helen's like, uh, seven. One seven. <laughs> one seven. I'm like, yes, there's only one in seven. I think she means 70. Hold on. <laughs> are you all right in there? <laughs> oh, these are lovely. Is this, is this Moonstone? Ooh, th this one is new. This one is, wow. This is very designer indeed. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, so with Moonstone, so with Moonstone itself, it has like a beautiful kind of, it's a little bit like Labradorite. Now you can get the Labrador essence over Labradorite. It's got that same sort of effect to it, Moonstone, but it just has like a, instead of sort of a deep color, it has that wonderful kind of white sheen over the top. Really, I love this setting. I love this setting, like the way that it's put together like that, because you could definitely sort of use, uh, look at that is a gorgeous gem and as the light hits it it really does really does have a beautiful white sheen across the top really beautiful now how stunning would they be just as a drop pendant just as a drop pendant on its own 
That is just so stunning. And really, as the light catches it, it's got a beautiful, and I love the way that these put together. You could use all of these. So sort of, you are getting a lot more than even just the stones on here. Just so gorgeous. Let's have a quick look at them because they are lovely. And the way that they catch the light is beautiful. They have a beautiful sort of sheen over the top. They are really beautiful. I love the fact that they're faceted as well. So they sort of sparkle. <gasps> yes, let's have a look at what one of them might look like. Oh, hold on. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, perfect. That is perfect. I love that. Um, Hannah, are you any good at making uh, rings out of these? Because I <laughs> quite like one. Yeah, I can give it a go. Honest. Could you do that? Mm -hmm. That's good. Is that, would that be quite easy, do you think? Should be. Should, Should be. be. Good, good, good. <laughs> I'm in. Uh, they are stunning. Beautiful moonstone. That really, really is lovely, actually, what you can do with these pieces. I love how versatile they are. Uh, they are real sort of real statement pieces. You wouldn't need many of these. Also, a little bit like uh, the other pieces that we have when they're statement. You're not going to use a lot of these in one piece of jewellery. So you could make a ring. You could make a drop pendant. You could sort of uh, include it in other pieces. So you're going to need. You're not going to need a lot from this amazing strand. And it is lovely. It is brand new. Uh, we're in sterling silver as well. A sterling sterling silver um, strand so there is so so much that you can use within it as well so you've not just got gemstones you've got sterling silver in there as well which is amazing uh, the fact they're all in the at $24.95 $24.95 they're all in that marquee shape as well which is really unusual you don't always see marquee shapes in gemstones you don't always see it because it's kind of like what we call a wasteful cut um, although a beautiful, beautiful cut, they are a little bit wasteful because if you were to sort of, um, if you were to go on carrot weight, if you were to go with carrot weight, you would obviously keep the oval because when you have a marquise, you lose the top and the bottom of the gem. But, however, we do always cut for beauty and everything, whether it's just gemstones, whether it's just sort of whatever it is that we're doing, we are always cutting for absolute beauty. And I love these. I love that the marquise is slightly rounded on the ends as well, which is lovely. Completely covered in sterling silver. So lots and lots of use out of this incredible piece. They are beautiful moonstone and I love the way that they catch the light. They are absolutely stunning. Really beautiful. <gasps> is it already? Oh my goodness, I'm going to put them back in there. Uh, it's time for another designer inspiration. Oh yes, all right. Uh, okay, so, ooh, here it is. We moved it, that's why I lost it. We've got it, we've got it back. Look at all of this. Oh my God. So Hannah, were you saying these were the, these were the new colors? Yeah, these are new as well. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, that's lovely. That's got like a, almost like a, well, it's kind of got a matte finish, but like a shimmer to it, which obviously doesn't make yeah, any sense. It really is hard to explain. It really is hard to explain because you kind of go a, a matte shimmer, which is really sort of very contradictory and doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, but look at all of that. Wow. And it does have like, it is a matte finish, looks like a matte finish, but has like a lot of shimmer in it when it hits the light. Yeah. So really unusual. So unusual, I can't even sort of imagine how to explain it actually, which is, uh, which is quite nice. Fresh and funky. Look at them. These are new, yeah? So these are yep. brand new. Uh, I am loving these. Wonderful sort of um, gorgeous red, a forest green, a beautiful purple, and that wonderful aqua colour on the end as well. That really is beautiful. These are brand brand new colours. Uh, yeah, really stunning. Really, really beautiful. So, uh, yeah, wonderful. Oh, look, it's like a violet colour, isn't it? That's a violet colour there. Uh, beautiful greens, reds, and that beautiful kind of turquoisey colour that we're coiling. Ooh, frost azure blue, lovely. Uh, amazing. So we're getting all of that, plus, hold on. They're really lovely. Really lovely. Okay, I'm just going to move these out of the way so that I can hold them. Okay, so I love the fact that these are all sort of the same shape, the same size. They're all faceted as well. So you can use all of these together but with a sort of because they're sort of uniformed in their almost in their sort of shapes and sizes however they're all obviously all those amazing different colors perfect i'm just going to move that over because these especially these in fact all of them actually have got a very autumnal feel to them 
really beautiful so we have got let's have a look what do we have what do we have uh, we have red tiger's eye <gasps> we've got mukite which is lovely going from beautiful kind of pastel pinks through to those chocolatey colors in there as well uh, then we've got green agate we've got blue agate ah oh, snowflake rounds are lovely really really pretty that tiger's eye is lovely as well uh, and road night plains um, so a gorgeous gorgeous gemstone all on its own i love this color in here the color on the red night the beautiful pinks in there are so beautiful and i love that the mukha is just perfect for autumn going from beiges through to ambers through to reds and creams and that really deep chocolatey color is lovely the tiger's eye actually has got something amazing um, and it's called chatoyancy and what happens is as as you sort of move the gem the patterning inside the gem moves as well it's a really incredible gemstone i really love it and it's just the way that it's just the way that it's created it's layer upon layer and as the way that it catches the light it really does sort of it does sort of move and that whole look completely completely changes which i think is incredible in a gemstone amazing and we're doing all these beautiful moves so i love that they're all the same sort of size they're all the same sort of shapes great if you are doing sort of uniform jewelry but you really want to sort of add something a little bit different so all those colors are going to be perfect adding something a little bit different to it but all sort of uniformed in the same sort of shape if you are making more delicate designs or more sort of uh, structured with all those sort of different beads they would look lovely these would look good in perspex as well wouldn't absolutely, they absolutely yeah they would look really lovely nice and easy to fit in that perspex mm -hmm. as we were showing before with the pyrite and and all of the other pieces that we had before in that other sort of bundle that we brought to you which is lovely uh, so all of these are going to look beautiful very kind of um autumnal now you might not want to use them all in the perspex Aspects. maybe you want to use them for something else they are just versatile within themselves they're beautiful colors uh, that road night is lovely when that's created actually uh, mother nature sort of creates it in a sort of stalagmite or stalactite form brings down and it's like layer upon layer upon layer it's sort of brought manganese down which is the element that creates that pink and it's layer upon layer upon layer it takes years and years to form and then we come along take them chunks out of it uh, and that's why we get all this wonderful design inside each and every single one of the gems uh, lovely gemstone beautiful gemstone actually the tiger's eye which moves within itself which is lovely Book up with all those wonderful autumnal colors uh, that snowflake is lovely because it's got sort of charcoaly colors in there and then the, the sort of fresh colors of the blue and the green as well so that's a really lovely lovely mix lovely together like I say if you want to mix them together nice and easy to do that because they are sort of all the same size they are all the same size um, so there are some are faceted as well, which is lovely. So not just those gemstones, uh, not just all those gemstones, but the perspex as well. The perspex as well. So I'm going to pop that one back on there. Uh, we've got all those wonderful colours uh, in those perfect that are brand new as well. They're all brand new. Look at all of that. Uh, we are going to bring in the price that we should be at. We should be at 38.50 for all of that. If you were to buy those all separately, they would be 38.50. So we've got four perspex sheets and we've got all those wonderful gemstones as well at 28.95 28.95 so amazing amount that you can do to it um just uh, these are brand brand new colors in the perspex brand new colors in the perspex if you were to sort of what's the sort of value like if you were to maybe sort of um i don't know sell a, one of a pair of earrings in the perspex so you put like sort of maybe sort of three or four gems in there yeah. uh, and you're not really using a lot at all like those sort of um, beautiful earrings are the sort of turquoise color you're not using a lot mm. there are you at all how much sort of value would you get out of that it really depends on your area and, and who you're selling to as well yeah but for sort of the bigger pair of earrings I would go maybe 15 15 pounds or so or something like that obviously bearing in mind things like boutique jewelers and um, all these sort of high street trend shops and things like that I would encourage you to go and do your research because if you're looking at perspex and acrylic designs people charge an awful lot of money for them wow so that's that's quite that's quite a lot then that you'll get yeah for being able to do all of that so so when you're looking at something like this you haven't used an awful lot at all no but you've still created an amazing statement piece yeah. so you don't need any more than that because that's a lovely statement piece on its own we've got just a couple of gems in it mm -hmm. uh, we've also got the sort of the silver work at the top but a real statement piece a real beautiful piece but not really sort of using an awful lot of the sort of pieces that you have no and you're not using a lot of component parts either you've just got four gemstones in there as you say i've used the um the silver plated copper as well so intrinsically you're probably looking maybe 
under a pound to two pound for the cost price wow. on that earring, and that's including your labour costs on it as well. That is amazing. That is that's actually amazing. So one to two pounds, mm -hmm. even if you sold them for four pounds. Yeah, you're still making a good. Profit, still making a, a really good profit, and you haven't you haven't used very much at all. So. I think that's the great thing, isn't yeah. it? The amount that you sort of save uh, and the amount that you can actually get out of all these pieces, especially if you are trying new things mm -hmm. and, and all that sort of stuff. And as you said, like if you want to create curves and, and things like that, it doesn't matter even if you do make a mistake because you just go and cook it again <laughs> and it'll, it, you can sort of create. I wonder, because yeah. you could, can you completely mold it into anything? Yes, yeah. So like if I wanted to do something like that, but maybe like a long, and I wanted to do a bit of a twist, twist in it. You can spiral it, um, you can heat certain parts of it. You can make the beautiful sort of calla lily flowers that we've seen. Wow. Wow. Few designers, there's an awful lot you can do. So once once you get into it, once you sort of feel comfortable with it, there is the sort of ideas are endless, yeah. really. Yeah, exactly. Really, really endless. Wow, twenty eight ninety five for all of that, and you're saying that a piece like this would sort of maybe sort of with cost would be one to two pounds. Yeah, exactly. and that's with labour as well, and that's yeah. your own labour, isn't yeah. it? So. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> uh, so that really is incredible for twenty eight ninety five for all of that. So you've got all that perspex, brand new colours as well, and all those strands as well. There's amazing strands in there. Uh, yeah, really, really beautiful, beautiful pieces. And they've got six strands in there, which is lovely. All those wonderful colours. I love that they're all unique as well, but the fact that they're sort of all the same look yeah. means you can sort of mix them up, especially if you're going to make pieces like these, like the earrings, you can mix up the gems and mm -hmm. all that you're looking at, the difference is the beautiful colour as opposed to the fact that some are huge and some are small and, and that sort of stuff. So a lovely, lovely set. It is a, it is a great set. So what we're going to look at with this particular dance designer inspiration is how to make curves and how to sort of attach your findings and things like that. Because mm -hmm. um, it's intrinsically the same thing. You're, yeah. you're cutting out a shape, uh, but you just work working it in a different way to get okay, a different look. Okay, cool. So this particular Perspex is, um, as Vicky said, brand new to, to JM, and it, and it glows. I think that's what we were trying to work out earlier, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. It's like, it's satin, but it's sparkly. And it's like it's really, really, really weird, because <laughs> it's got like this like really cool matte finish to it, but then when it hits a light, like, sheen. So it has like <laughs> it's completely, like, it's really hard to explain, because it's like, yeah, it's completely like contradictory, isn't yeah. it, really? Yeah, but, it really yeah. is. <laughs> So we're going to start, um, we're going to show how to make they the are, sort of the big they green. They are like glowing, where are they there? Yeah. The very bottom of them are like, they've got like a gorgeous mint green glow. <laughs> oh. they are and if you're wearing them as well, that look really cool, won't Yeah, because you've got sort the of their turn upside down, and, yeah, swinging around, yeah. it's great fun. I like that. So I've drawn out sort of the template shape there, um, and literally all it is, I've just drawn around a protractor. There's nothing too technical about that. And then just... <laughs> Then you know, it out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then just making a little dip, just so it's just a little bit more of a design feature rather than just leaving it blank. And we're going to do, again, is use one of our needle files and go into the edge of the perspex so you can begin introducing your saw and then working on that piece. So I'm just going to take that to the edge of the, the desk there. Again, with my needle file, at the edge or the outer edge, if you like, of the um, permanent marker line that I've made, up and down to make a groove. So exactly as we did before. Exactly as we did before. Um, but this time we're cutting a curve. So we're up and down with a saw. Oh, or to slip off the edge of the perspex. <clears throat> and you see what I'm doing? I'm holding the perspex down because that reduces sort of the bounce from it and just makes it easier to saw. Now, as I'm cutting a curve, you'll notice I continuously saw up and down and I'm turning the perspex gently. And that just ah, allows yes. you a nice smooth cut. I'm not turning the saw anywhere. Saw staying in the same position, and I'm just following that line round. So you're guiding the perspex as opposed to changing the sort of angle as the saw. Exactly right. And again, straight up and down with the saw. Don't tip it forward. Don't put it back, and don't put any pressure on it. It's just really easy to cut out a whole shape very pretty quickly. We're going through that quite yeah, easily. Yeah, not sort of mucking about there. You're getting through that. <laughs> And again, if we get to a point where we can't sort of move the blade any further and we need to come in at a different angle, yeah. you just saw backwards yeah. to release then, the blade from that piece. And then go perhaps from the other side or... Exactly, Perfect. exactly Good. right. So that's really, really quick and easy shape to cut out. I do find, actually, curves are easier to cut than what straight lines are if you're starting are out. You? Because you can hide a lot more in a curve rather than a straight edge, which has to be precise. Yeah. Your curves, pretty much you can get away with it if it's a little bit out. Yeah. So once we've done all the cutting, your perspex shape ends up like so. So we've got the little indent there mm -hmm. and also the nice curve to the outside. Yep. 
again, you don't need to be massively precise when you're cutting because you can finish this off and um, and do a lot of the cutting if you like with your files that we saw oh, earlier. Oh, of course, yeah. So you just bring that to the edge of the table to work on again and using the flat of a file we can just curve the surface. So what we're doing is coming over here and a bit like the movement with the saw, straight up and down with a file. And is that sort of more precise when you're doing that? It is, and you'll notice again, I'm say, leaving the file in the same position and turning the perspex as I go, and that right. just creates a really nice, clean It's a really curve. nice sound. It's a, it's a really pleasant sound, yeah. Sorry about that. If you've got sort of dogs in, in anything at home, they're probably going crazy now. <laughs> And again, if we're filing anything, remember you do one side, turn it over, and continue on the other okay, side cool. as well. Yep. And that just allows you, if you've dipped at all and chamfered the edge, you can just even it up. And it just ensures that both edges are exactly the same and nice and flat as well. It's a terrible noise, I do apologise. Right, done. We're done. Oh. We're done there. So you can see already with just a little bit of, of um, the file work there, you've got quite a nice neat edge. Yeah, that is. There yeah. are some sort of saw blade marks, or if you slip with the file, you can take an edge off, off the perspex just ever so slightly. That's why we then use the needle files just to neaten up. Ah, oh, lovely. And get rid of any, and they can go in, you can sort of notice bits where you've got perhaps a little groove and you just file really that out. You can really see it as well, can't you? Where the light hits it, you, it's nice and easy to see, isn't it, if there's any yeah, sort of nicks exactly. or anything. Yeah, exactly. And you can just even that all up. And then we can go through the grades of the sanding sponges like we saw earlier as yep. well. So if I just do that a little bit on the first one, just to buff that up, you can see how quickly yeah, you that, get a shine yeah. on that. Yeah, it really does actually, it really does. With, light, with all sanding papers, they do come in different grains and different um, uh, roughness if you like. And you see each one you, you use, you get more of a shine up to the finest one, which is possibly that one. So you get different gradings of those sponges that will do different things? Yeah, it's it's just like you would if you were, I don't know, prepping a, a door frame, if you like, for painting. I do that. I do that on a regular <laughs> like basis. Every day. Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> Basically what you're doing is just going up in the grains and just making it really, really, really nice and shiny. That looks really nice, actually. Really lovely. And it does give it that like professional finish, doesn't yeah, it? It really does give absolutely. it a professional finish. So you see, I haven't done that for long. You can obviously spend a l much longer at it at home, at doing this your own way. But it gives you a really, really, really good finish on that. It's got the more like a sort it. of shine across it now as Yeah, well. you get a lovely sort of glow to the edge of the perspex there, a lovely little shine reflecting there. So that's, that's what you do with your perspex. Very nice, very nice. What we can then do is, I'm just going to grab my sheet of perspex because I don't want to drill straight into the uh, the table. I don't think that would be the best idea. I'm going to get into trouble for that. <laughs> um, and it's also a really good note to remember at home, if you are working on a surface, have something to work on because that way you're not going to damage anything you're no, working exactly, on. No, exactly, yeah. And it can be anything, can it? Or yeah, is this sort of thing the I'm best? Just, I'm just using a scrap, scrap piece of perspex right. that I'm not going to use and I find it's a nice size for my table so I always just work on a, on a piece of perspex Cool, well. but a anything would do. Yeah, anything yeah. Would do just as long as it's like it. not, not a metal or something like that, nothing that's going to blunt your saw, uh, cool. your saw or your drill bit. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we've got the, the design all made up, we've got all the, the edges polished, everything's filed. We now have to consider what sort of design we're going to put to the surface hmm. of the piece. So obviously I only wanted to use a couple of gemstones because I'm um, quite stingy with my stash and I like things to go a long, long way. So I only but use I, a couple of gemstones. I don't know that, maybe that's wise I'm not stingy <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Yeah. Maybe that's more wise. It is, you're going to have a lot more use out of You them. get loads in there as well, so if you are only going to use a few, yeah. That's going to go an awful, long, an awful long way, isn't way, it? An awful absolutely. long way. But I think sometimes maybe if, if you're doing it for you, you might want to do more. Or, yeah. Because it's all your own personal sort of work, isn't it? It is. So this you are getting going to get everything with this, this bundle. So $28.95 for all of that. So we are using the green, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We are using the aqua colour. Uh, but you get three more. They're brand new colours. They're brand new colours. And we get all of those gems as well. All of those gems. And like a real substantial amount there. Mm. A real substantial amount. And a real mix as well. Real mix, twenty eight ninety five. Uh, we've also these ones. Oh, okay. Oh, I love these colours. They are amazing. Okay, let me just. I'm just going to pop them there because we do. Okay. How? Wow. Okay. So we've got 
what I would probably call really useful colours. Yes, yeah. That's what I, I would, I, it's not the name of it. <laughs> and that's the name I'm going to give it. They are really useful colours because you've got white, because you've got clear, because you've got black, because you've got that wonderful grey colour. And I am loving that orange. Yes, I am loving that orange. The orange and black look amazing. Mm. Hello Halloween. Oh, yeah, ah, definitely. Ah, yes, perfect. Uh, that wonderful grey colour. Uh, this clear... I'm just going to bring this. How cool is that? Because that that just go with anything, mm -hmm. absolutely. And I think as well, when you've got clear to put sort of really bright gemstones on it, or even on the black or the white, would look amazing. Because yeah, it's really going to pop. Yeah, really going to look gorgeous, especially like those sort of brighter. That blue mm. look amazing on the black. It really, really would. amazing. So we have got black, clear, grey, orange, and white perspex. So and these new colours. No, these are um, our standard range of colours, but I've recall. never seen them in that combination before. Oh, okay. So I'm already getting sort of design ideas because it looks quite um, industrial, quite yeah, modernistic, does, yeah. futuristic even. Yeah, I like mm. that. I really like that. That orange in there really gives it a real bam, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Really bad. But they are such useful colours because yeah. if you are going to make pieces they, and you want them to go with sort of anything, if you're going to make a standard piece yes. that you think, this is going to be my piece that's going to go with everything, I think really, in probably, oh, that, oh, I love the orange, really. In exception to that, you could use every single one of these ones and it would go with every single outfit yeah, that you absolutely. could ever possibly own. Ever possibly own. And we're just going to throw in a bit of vibrancy for <laughs> you as well. Wow, this it. What? £9.75? So £9.75 for all of this. That's a five perspex sheets. Five perspex sheets for just 9.75. And these really are, they really are really useful colors, aren't they? they I, can't, I can't really think of any other way to describe that, apart from the fact that they are really useful colors, that you are gonna definitely need these colors if you want to make sort of, um, Love that. Mm, and ah, yeah, the, the black. black with black with gold, black with silver looks amazing. I'm just gonna grab that and add that onto there. Look at that, that is so stunning. The sort of intensity of that tone, that beautiful gold in there really sort of stands out. That looks amazing, really amazing. And you've not, and it, this, I, like I, and it looks amazing, but having seen how to do it, mm -hmm. it's not complicated. Not at all. It's no. not difficult, but it looks it. Yeah, I think the longest time taken on that piece would be the cooking time to make it moldable. So you're looking 15 minutes for that. that so that's not even you though, hour. is it? That's no. not even your hard work. <laughs> you're gonna that's make a going to make a cup of tea. <laughs> shot and I'm off. Yeah. Uh, like the longest bit that takes the longest time is the bit that you don't even do. I think that's amazing. Um, so really these colors are just perfect. If you are looking for pieces that you can kind of make and grab and you just want to have a piece that you can sort of have at home ready to go, with anything, doesn't matter, go, oh, that doesn't match that colour and that doesn't match that colour. It doesn't matter if you're using black, grey, white, clear, and that beautiful popping orange. I love that. That is amazing. I love orange. <laughs> uh, all for 9.75. Imagine the amount, imagine the amount that you could get out of this. Well, if you were doing sort of bangles and you were talking quite chunky bangles, you yeah. could do one, two, three, four, easily five yeah. out of each sheet. Easily five. If you're doing like, uh, I don't know where they went, but you had uh, the smaller ones yep. there, you could get about 10 out of them. Yeah, easily. You could quite easily get about 10 out of these. So all for just 9.75, and that's per sheet. That's not like, we'd just get 10. We'd get 10 out of each sheet. An amazing amount that you could make out of these, but real, just really useful colors. <laughs> yeah. Really useful colors just for 9.75. Love them. There we go. Hop them there. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is look at sort of introducing the design to the prop of the perspex. Now, the method is exactly the same, so if we're putting gemstones into it, it's exactly the same as, as the previous demo. But rather than going in with something quite uniform, you want to be quite random with this particular design. Okay. So I've tended, when I've been designing, to pop my gemstones quite sporadically round one side, yeah. and then intersperse those, again, more loaded to one side than the other, with drill holes because you can make the drill oh, hole okay. a feature yep. rather than just a rather design than, uh, and need. rather than just a, a reason to put your gemstones in exactly now we always remember if we're putting these onto a necklace or need to put findings in then we need to drill the top as well okay um, and then again with the dremel <laughs> it's back it's back already we're going to turn that onto low we've got the drill bit back in place we're looking at about two mil drill bits 
and we're going to go straight down. This is why you need your protective layer because this is actually going through. Perspects there. And there. Yeah. And through. You're not putting a lot of pressure in there, are you? You are really you? don't have to, no, you really don't have to. And again, with the design itself, just sporadically, drill holes through because what happens when you wear the necklace is these become sort of little sort of see-through elements. And whatever with. you're wearing will become the alternate colour. Exactly. Like if you've got a black outfit on, yep. you've got your gemstones in there, those holes are going to be black. Yes. Perfect. And it just, it just adds a little bit of a, a nice design feature to these pieces. You don't need, obviously I don't need to do all of them, but at home you will finish that off. But that, you've done, I'll be honest with you, you've done quite a few of them and yeah. that didn't take you very long at not all. Not long at all, not long at all. It's a very, very quick process because again, just like with the sawing, there's no resistance in the perspex when you're drilling. No. So that's, that's all drilled in place. And again, I've done my pilot holes in the gem setting pieces. Yep. And then I've drilled all the way through in the other pieces. Yep. Just need to switch over the drill bit. So again, in with the button, in with the spanner. Oh, no, tighten it. Hmm. Loosen that off, move the drill bit. Pop my other drill bit in. See, so once I've opened that, chuck there. Drill bit goes in tighten with the fingers and then always make sure that it's tight on the spanner as well. Okay, okay. cool. So obviously we've got all those different sizes within within the gemstone. So if you were to use slightly larger gemstones, obviously you're going to use a larger sort of fitting in there. Yeah, the you smaller can use the larger gemstones, fitting. the smaller ones. If you find you've got a fitting um, or you've got a gemstone that you haven't got a fitting to work with, we can easily um, remedy that. We can show you on this piece of perspex. So I'm going to go yeah. in with my low setting. I'm going to introduce the drill hole there so you've yeah. made a nice indentation if I need it bigger all I'm doing and you'll see as it gets larger sounds delightful <laughs> but I'm literally just going in and moving in a clockwise sort of rotation there yeah. to make a larger one so if I drill one next to it yeah turn that off and just remove the layer of the um, perspex so you can see. So that's nice and easy and you probably don't want to put too much pressure in because if you do you're going to go right through right? Yeah, but yeah, you just, you want, just to want to sort of move it so it sort of catches the sides rather than the bottom. Exactly so let me just sometimes it's a bit fiddly to get the protective layer off but it usually comes away fairly easily. Come along on this occasion it decides not to. <laughs> there we go. So peeling Ooh, that there off. There we go. Oh, look at that colour. And it's, it's like the big reveal at the end. It is it's a so much bit, fun. That colour's amazing. And you can see that. It's just popping the, the drill bit in just to make a little hole yep. there. And this one here is where we've rotated the drill bit just to make a bigger bigger hole for a, a larger size gem. Cool. So if you had a larger gem, that's nice and easy though, isn't it? So yep. it's not that you go, oh, I need one for every single one. No, not you at all. You can just adapt it to however you like. Exactly right, exactly uh, right. That green is amazing. It looks so different once you sort of get the, the protective yeah, you layers do, off don't and you? you start working with it. But it's got that's such a glow beautiful. to it. Really lovely Really piece. beautiful. And again, slightly translucent so you can see see through it as well which is a, again a really nice design feature of this particular perspex so ooh, i'm gonna i think i'm gonna let you shall I, can i get it out yep. <laughs> otherwise it's just a box, it's just, just a box. <laughs> <laughs> okay hold on ooh. <laughs> there we go okay so this is our bench peg and anvil and rather than sort of working on a studio desk at home this is what I always always work on and um, because it gives you two different surfaces and it also gives you um, a lot more purchase on on the perspex itself right okay so just keeping it nice and steady exactly right so what we're gonna do we can't attach it to the table unfortunately here but your bench peg goes in one side right this ah, is the side yeah. you work on okay and you've got your anvil on top as well yeah this then sits onto your table, clamps yep. in place, and you've got an anvil from which you can hammer or bend or work oh, the perspex. Save your table. Exactly, save your table. And you've also got the bench peg which you will cut and, and drill into as well. Okay. What you've got is is a sort of oh. flat side as well. So if yeah. you're using sort of perspex piece, that sits up against the anvil yeah. there and you're working on it, you can saw it. How drill perfect it. is that? So it's your uh, 
it just keeps everything just right there for you. You're exactly not going to damage right. anything that you've got at home. Uh, just keep, you, and you've got sort of two in one because you really can hammer right against that yep. one if you are doing anything like that yeah. or just a nice surface where you can drill into. So if you don't have this at home yep. or you don't have like a massive surface that you think, um, I don't mind sticking a few holes in that, this is perfect. Yeah, because, and this is what you've got to remember with your tools. They are meant to be used and they're meant to be worked. Don't feel too precious that you're going to put a load of holes in it or <laughs> saw, cut in it, anything like that. It is what they're there yeah, for. Yeah, better, better than your dining room table. Yeah, so so this, this, this really, if you are someone who works from home and you don't have your own workshop or anything like mm -hmm. that, this is kind of absolutely perfect oh, for you because you're going to yeah. use it at home. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's really, really good for that. And I know um, before we came to air, we were also talking about different ways of holding the, the perspex as yes. well. Because um, after a while, obviously, if you're putting pressure on it and cutting it, you know, you can get a little bit like sore, sore hands or whatever. It is ha handy to have a ring. Yeah. Now, a ring blank in stock as well. Because what you can do is pop your perspex sheet in, clamp it down, and what that gives you then is much longer per sort of purchase on it. Rather than trying to hold it like so, you can hold it at the side, a bit yeah. like a saucepan if you like, and move it, turn it, And you can well. see everything that you're working yeah. with as opposed to having your hand over some of it and your arm covering it. Yeah. And that sort of, so it gives you a much bigger visual yeah. and the whole thing rather than sort of covering it up. You can see your whole finished design mm. um, and as you're going along you can adapt it to be able to see it. And, and work it as well. It's exactly the same process with anything like metal sheet that um, we saw on this morning's programme with Gemma. Yeah. You can hold that in your ring clamps as well. Cool. So. It's, but, so these sort of things are sort of to make life easy, yep. they're perfect for things at home, like if you are creating at home, then is that just 6 95 This one? That's wow. a lot for 6 95 for this? I, I, I have to say, I didn't think it was going to be anywhere near that, I have to say, like I saw that, that's a substantial amount of, of sort of work that you can do with that. It's a substantial piece of equipment for six ninety five. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Good stuff. I, I'm going to be honest because I've not seen one of these before and I have no idea really sort of the cost of something like mm. that. I, I thought it would be a, a lot more than that. Mm. A lot more. Well, than that. Because are. as I'm lifting it, I'm like, oh, that's quite. That's sort of quite that's a quite lot. Heavy. And it yeah, it is quite heavy and it's a substantial amount of equipment. A substantial amount of equipment. And at six ninety five, that's well, that's amazing. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that coming in the post. Oh my goodness! It's, yes, yes. Good job. It's one PMP. Yeah. It? No. There we go. That's amazing. I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely quite shocked about that mm. because it, lifting it out of the box is quite a substantial amount of equipment. <laughs> a little bit flabbergasted in there. Yes, a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm quite shocked actually. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh, have we? Yeah. So we did. We just showed the ring clamp. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that we're going to bring that to you as well, so that you can grab one of them if you want mm -hmm. to as well. Six ninety five. I'm quite shocked. <laughs> So this is nice and effective, Re just makes life easy for you. It really does and also again if you've got dexterity problems you can clamp um, things in sort of the end, so smaller pieces of perspex, if you're looking to set the gemstones in them and glue them in as well, this will actually hold it for so you. So it sort of takes away all that sort of fiddly bit that exactly you might right, struggle with. Exactly right, and it's not just used for gem setting or anything like that, you ca it can be used for a whole sort Across of Across the board of, of everything. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And that's six nine. No, that was that one. That was six ninety five, wasn't it? So we've yeah. got we've got that one. That's so that one was six ninety five, the one that I was quite shocked at expecting to be like much more than that. <laughs> much more. Um, and then we are now gonna bring you this one for you. So this is a wooden ring clamp. Comes with wire as well. Yeah, that one. Hold that one. up, there it is. Wire as well. Huh? So it comes with it comes with that as well. Mm hmm Amazing. Uh, okay, so it should be eleven ninety, mm -hmm. and we're going under ten pounds, just under ten pounds. Uh, amazing for all of that, uh, and nine ninety five for both, for both. That's incredible. Um, that how much is in there? Oh. You got ten meters. Ten meters. That's going to go quite a long way, isn't it? And it's a gauge of one point two five as well, one point two five. So that's that's actually a lovely sort of. Um, that's a lovely gauge actually isn't it? It's a really really lovely gauge and again if you were watching Gemma this morning she works an awful lot in the higher yeah, gauge wire she does. because she does a lot of structured pieces 
And this is perfect if you want to do big sort of talk necklaces, yeah. talk bangles, that type of thing. If you want to make frames from it as well, it's really, yeah. really lovely. And you can make also, you can make the findings as well yeah. from that as well, which yeah. I think is quite incredible. So if you are wanting to sort of make your own, uh, that's the sort of gauge that you want to be able to do that sort of structural pieces. We are talking about statement pieces, so that's pretty good as well. Uh, making your life easy and with 10 meters on it. Wow. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm just going to pop this over here for you so that you can okay. continue. Okay, so when we've got to sort of this sort of stage, what we're going to do is um, actually set all the findings first. Rather than going in and trying to set the gemstones first, I find it much easier to put your findings in, then glue your gemstones in, and then you can just leave it and it, okay. and it dries over time. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. Um, we can grab some head pins because they are always handy to have. Now, you can do this in two different ways. Because the Perspex is a 3mm thickness, it can be a little bit tricky to sort of put a jump ring through if you've only got smaller size jump rings um, and then to work it through and try and get that because you've got no give on the Perspex at this stage. Right, okay, gotcha. So there's different ways in which we can sort of counteract that to make different sets of findings to allow them to set on chains and things like that. So I've had my, um, my drill holes here and I'm going to pop one of the head pins and I've chosen one with a little star oh, design on. I think it's really important with findings. There's no point trying to hide them away. No, make a feature, make a feature of, them. of them. So we've got your little <sighs> head pin there and I'm going to take my round nose pliers. This is the first way of which we can make a, a finding to fit. About halfway down and then begin rolling. So take, sort of take the wrist over and around and then continue the roll down. And you see what I'm doing is I'm rolling but I'm rolling to this edge of the plier because that ensures all the way down the loops are the same. Okay, so we're all the way down until that loop meets the perspex. Okay, what we can do at that point then is we can either attach a jump ring through the little tunnel we've created, right. or a bit like a key ring, you can loop a chain through it, okay, um, like a split ring, or the chain can go through. The other way, and as that's well. that's really stable all on its own. Yeah, because it's, all on it's its obviously own. it's a it's just a wound head pin, but that's fine to be. Yeah, it will take the weight of a chain because they're not going to be very heavy, okay. and it's not going to go anywhere either. Fab. So that's the first Fab. way we can create a finding with a head pin. The other way is similar, but if you don't want to sort of the bulkiness of the little tunnel coil behind, pop the head pin through cut it down using your wire cutting pliers and leaving about 10 mil one centimetre. Yeah. Snip that down. And what we want to do this time is just create the one loop. So it's okay. a bit like, a, like an eye pin. Yeah. So we're putting our pliers in, turning, and then twisting those down. Yep. And what you've done now, I've just overlapped it ever so slightly so okay. you, can, you can see how to trim it down. I'm just going to trim that down to make it just like um, a head, an eye pin would be. Yeah. And then at this stage, you can create it just like a jump ring or an eye pin. You can open it, yeah. pop your chain in, pop whatever you want oh, in, and then, and then close it securely again. as well. Okay, so there's that way as well. That's nice and easy, isn't it? That, that is, is nice, nice and easy. And if you are gonna, are gonna <coughs> fiddle a little bit with jump rings, then yeah. nice to do that. If you've got larger jump rings, can you use them? Absolutely, or you can create your own. That would probably be the best thing to yeah. do, wouldn't it? This is the easiest way to do it. Rather than trying to find out sort of what, what size jump rings fit through your purse specs, use a head pin, um, just snip off whatever the end you've got on there, and you've just got the little length of wire left. Cool. What you then do is pop the wire in at the very end of your round nose pliers, right at the end, turn that around and basically just follow and encourage the wire to follow the very, very, very end of the round nose pliers there. And you get to a point you can't really turn it anymore to create a little coil. Okay. Using your wire cutting pliers, you can then go in, measure up where the end meets, and snip yeah. to create a jump ring. Yeah. And then turn it around the other way because you should be able to get two or three out of just out one, of one, roll. one roll of cool. the head pin there. So you've got now, two same size jump rings there. We did have that, that wire before, didn't we? Yeah, you can absolutely so that do it with wire Because well. obviously, mm -hmm. If you want to have head pins, you might want to just keep them as a head, as pin. A head yep. pin. But we've got we had all that wire, didn't we, before? So, yep. and if you are making sort of chunky statement jewelry, I think when you've got a larger yeah. kind of gauge would look really nice. And you've just got to remember whatever size drill hole you're drilling fits 
fits your head pin. So these yeah. are a two mil drill holes, so these are going to fit with a head pin size wire. If you're using the 1.25, just work upwards in the in the size and the gauge of the drill bit perfect, itself. Perfect, perfect. So sort of versatility all round, really. Yeah, which is quite exactly, nice. exactly. And then all we need to do, just as you would with a normal jump ring, I always use two flat nose pliers because I find it a lot easier to work rather than sort of holding them with the round nose or trying to hold them between your fingers. Open them up like they're a little door. Slip them through the perspex. And you see how easy that goes through because yeah, you've got a does, lot of room yeah. to work with there because you made them a nice large size. Pop the chain on or whatever you want on and then just close them up so they meet. Lovely. Nice and neatly that as well. That is really neat as mm. well, isn't it? Really neat. And That's so really easy. easy way of doing it. So you've so, got different so versions there of how, how to finish and how to use different findings on your perspex. Nice. Well. Really nice. Good. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, obviously, you've done all your findings, you've attached your chain, you've attached everything that you need, and you're just ready to finish the design. All we need to do is just go in with the gemstones. Okay, go so for it. Go for it. Let's just grab some. And again, we saw it earlier exactly the same way, but in this case, I've colour coordinated the gemstones to try and tie in with the perspex. Okay. Now, it's, you know, completely design preference. You can use really, really brightly coloured gemstones so they stand out. Yeah. Or you can colour match them just so they give a little bit of a different look to the perspex so a bit, itself. So it's sparkle as the light hits it. Yeah, rather yeah, than sort nice. of being over the top and in your face. Yeah. These are just like a, almost like a little hidden gem, if you like. Nice. nice. And the green is l lovely. That I think that's a really nice idea because you might not want to take away from that lovely no. colour. No, you're just complementing the colour rather than trying to go sort of over the top of it. But again, exactly as we did with the bangle earlier, using the hypo cement, so we've got the nice precision applicator on the end there yeah. to get the glue right into the little well we've created. And you see, I'm really filling it up. I don't mind if this sort of goes over the edge a little bit because it sticks to the surface of the gemstone. Ah. And oh, it just cradles cool. the gemstone itself. As opposed to sort of splurging across yeah, the Yeah, exactly. Oh, interesting word. Splurging, <laughs> but yes. A nice technical word there. <laughs> I think it is, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're just letting that just go slightly tacky, um, only because if you try and introduce a gemstone too quickly, it's just going to slip out of the setting. It's yeah. not going to stay put. So that's gone probably tacky enough. Pop the gemstone down. And again, you see I'm just tapping that into place. Yeah. What that's ensuring is there's no sort of air trapped in the in the glue itself yeah and it's just making sure that gemstone sits nice and flush and if I just bring that up slightly you can see half of the gemstone is sitting in the perspex and the other half is raised above the perspex yeah perfect. so it means it's nice and nice and secure in there cool if you ever wanted I mean I don't know if you can I'm just gonna ask a very question but if you could um, sort of create a slightly sort of deeper pocket mm -hmm. without obviously going all the way through could you almost if you had a small enough gemstone almost encase yeah, it absolutely so. these gemstones are about a two mil and the, and the thickness of the perspex is three mil so you absolutely can that's so almost cool encase yeah that, that would be lovely to, especially if you're using the same color like yeah. if you are just catching like a shimmer or gleam across the front that would be really nice as well yeah you can set it much lower in the perspex if you wish and nice. you can do all sorts of little design ideas with that I mean if you want to introduce maybe like um, uh, Morse code messages in it so it's like a secret oh, message nice. to somebody or even sort of the braille alphabet because you can feel some of the little dots yep. in the in the gemstones yep. itself it's all those sort of unique and um, personal touches you can make to designs that give your designs an edge and again yep. make them more appealing to customers or friends and family if you make oh, them friends lovely. and family. Yeah so maybe initials or little yeah. heart designs or stars yeah. or anything like I think in the uh, in that sort of dark black colour with like um, the pyrite might be nice as yeah. a star really, and really things really like lovely. that yeah Lots and lots well. to be able to do with all of those. So um, if you were to do uh, the earrings, obviously, are they exactly the same? They or? are exactly the same. Um, but on the earrings, what we've done is just loop the chain through um, either the head pin design on the blue ones. Yeah. Or um, I've looped chain all the way through on the sort of tunnel or coiled Ooh, down yeah. head pin at the back there. And that just means when they swing round, you're getting a design feature at the back as well. Yeah, absolutely. So it looks a little bit different. And again, the earrings all have the drill holes all the way through as well because it's going to show little lights through it. It's going to be very, very different to rather than just having the flat yeah. of the perspex itself. Yeah. This, um, the sort of red necklace I've made in, in the front here is in two parts. So you've got your little top part of the pendant here. I've then added the drill holes in, done a little head pin twist to the back, chain down. So you've got a lot of movement from that piece when that's actually being worn. Oh, that's that nice too, yeah. Interchangeable and, and moves around and just adds a little bit of sparkle and design to, 
to your outfit you're wearing, really. <coughs> Excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> Are you sorry? I was like, trying to hold it in, but it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. <laughs> um, I'm just going to show these as well, because you were using a lot of head pins, weren't yeah. you? So um, if you want to sort of add them, they're perfect for sort of creating, because uh, I always thought head pins, earrings, mm. that would kind of be it, but there's not. There's lots more you can there's do with them, isn't there? There's lots and lots you can do with them. And again, if, you, if you're using them perhaps on the um, surface of the perspex there, you can pop them in into drill holes and things and actually glue them in place as you would do a gemstone or just take the back and sort of ma manipulate the back so it sits against the perspex so just bend it down and then in add some glue and fill all of the drill holes with the, the heads oh, of the nice. Things, just again for a different design feature. Yeah, there. lovely, really, really lovely. Now we have two separate ones here. Uh, we've got We've got rose gold colour, which is lovely. I always love rose gold because it's really feminine. Mm. Really, really feminine. So the rose gold, we are in sterling silver, but we're rose gold plated. The ball head pins, I don't know if we can maybe see them just so that you can have a little look exactly what they look like. There we go. They're quite a nice long size as well, aren't they? So uh, obviously you can sort of cut them down to have them at whatever size you need. So it gives you that sort of... Um, you can sort of loop them around like you were doing, so you've got grab them in the sort of, um, put them through the holes and then wrap them around creating mm -hmm. that loop. Uh, if you want to use them for earrings, which is what I just assumed they would be, but there's not, there's lots and lots you can do with them. Uh, and like I say, that really feminine look, really feminine look with that wonderful rose gold in there. I love that, really, really love that. Uh, at six, six ninety five. That's six ninety five. There's an amazing amount that you can do with these, isn't there? They're incredibly, incredibly versatile as well. Incredibly versatile. And like you say, you can use them as decorative pieces. Mm -hmm. You can use them as um, use them for sort of structural pieces. Yeah, more of or, like a functional piece. Yeah, they make a beautiful. Um, if you put one gemstone on, even the seed beads go beautifully on these. And then just coil them down and string them onto a bracelet. They make a really oh, lovely sort of big bubbly bracelet lovely. design, which is great. Really, really nice. And I think I've, I've seen people sort of using them within the necklace chains and yeah. things like that as well. So lots and lots you can do with that. At just six ninety five for all of those, you're getting 20 pieces as well, 20 pieces. So even if you were just to use them on a necklace or earrings, you're going to get 10 lots out of them for just six ninety five. And like I say, very, very feminine, very feminine in that rose gold flash looking on them as well. So that's really lovely. Uh, and we've also got the... Um, We've got the yellow gold flash on there as well. Let's have a little look. Lovely luster off these because they're the sterling silver. Really lovely. Uh, so we've got the same, but that's sort of more warm in colour as opposed to the feminine colour. Where that is lovely, sort of yellow gold look, yellow gold look instead. So uh, gold plated sterling silver ball head pins. 20 pieces now would you say really these are sort of um should be within your collection like you're yeah. going to use them all the time these are essential pieces yeah these are essential and everyone is going to use them like you say earrings bracelets um anything you can imagine that you do use headpins yeah with. so even sort of decorative or sort yeah. of functional yeah. they're amazing for both amazing for both so we do have them, um, we have them in the gold plated and we have them in the rose plated as well. So the choice is yours and you, you're gonna get that at uh, 20, 20 pieces of them, 20 pieces of them. That is lovely, really lovely, all of those. Uh, the rose gold ones were, um, 6.95 yeah they were 6.95 so the rose gold with that very feminine look at 6.95 20 pieces all sort of very sort of essential very sort of functional but also very decorative as well so lots of lots of uses that you can get out of those ones and uh, then we have the gold plated as well gold plated ones as well 20 pieces of them as well beautiful head pins again that you can use for any sort of piece love all of them that's lovely lovely <laughs> at 6.95 there we go 6.95 for those ones as well so whichever is your choice maybe you'd like both because lovely to yeah. work with different colors as well isn't it that feminine look or the sort of slightly bolder sort of more regal look as well really really lovely so look we've just we've had loads of things haven't we, we? have yeah so many new we've things we've had today. loads of new things and i have just sort of learned how to do all this so it really is it really is so much easier than you think you see yeah. all those all that mass of equipment and you kind of go Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. And then you sort of look at other things and kind of go, actually, mm. it is so much easier and they are essential and it's not difficult to use either. No, it's not You don't need a lot of pressure. You don't need a lot of anything else. It's just sort of 
pieces that are essential but not difficult to use. Yeah, I mean, I started in, in the trade as a silversmith, so I, I was taught how to cut metal and shape metal and set gemstones into silver sheet. And that's incredibly daunting because it's very, very expensive yeah. to begin cutting up silver. And so I already had all the transferable skills. When I started working with Perspex, I didn't know why I hadn't been trained in Perspex right. because it is so much easier to learn your skills, to cut, to work with than what a metal sheet is as right. well. And so much more affordable. And so it's a great way to start, mm -hmm. makes it nice and easy to use and you can sort of extend those skills yeah. afterwards as well. Yeah, exactly right. Lovely, lovely. So thank you for them. That's They're okay. so easy. That's really nice. I mean, that's the thing. They are very, very, very quick and easy to show. But you can expand on that. And as we were discussing earlier, there's lots of different design methods you can use to make it unique and make it your yeah. own. Yeah. Really, really pretty. Lovely. I love all of these. So, so lovely. I love all of those. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I will be back for your uh, inspirational uh, challenge. Uh, challenge. Yes. <laughs> we're going to go over here. Come on. Here we go. We're going back over. Ooh, wow. Some lovely stuff. Hold on. Ooh, as I nearly throw everything on the floor. Oh, I nearly did as well. Ah, <laughs> that's how excited I am. I'm just throwing things around the studio. Uh, oh, my goodness. Righty -o. Uh Ooh. Ooh. All right. I'm just going to move that because I feel like I might throw that on the floor. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay. One. <gasps> That colour is amazing. Uh, right, okay. Just, just thinking, just thinking. All right, so. Oh, I love that they're intertwined. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so we have got um, we have got um, antique bronze copper, uh, and they are all twisted together, which is amazing. That's so cool because you've got the the bronze and the copper. They're sort of similar but with sort of different look to them. So that's really, really lovely. Uh, the thickness is 0.6 millimetres on that one. Um, I don't know how easy it is. Maybe we could have a little... If I can get that... Me. It's like... Oh, they are all twisted together. Like, literally. Oh, I've done it! Hold on! Uh, just so you can have a little look because it looks really nice and I don't think you can really see it from in there. Oh, it's really pretty. But yeah, it's really lovely. The bronze and the coppers that really love together. They've got a lovely luster as well. Really lovely luster. Uh, so there we go. Ah, hold on. So that one, as it all unravels next to me. There we go. So we've got the bronze and the copper. Then we've got magenta and purple. Wow. That really bright, gorgeous pink and that lovely purple colour. Again, twisted together. So that's 0.6 millimetres as well. Um, both of these are 10 metres worth as well. Both of them 10 metres. So the beautiful magenta and purple and the bronze and the copper. Both 10 metres, both 6 millimetres. Then we have got beautiful bronze uh, at 0.25 millimetres. Now, um, I think I'm right in saying that with 0.25 millimetres, it's more a decorative wire. So if you are sort of looking to use sort of, um, yeah, delicate wire work, the 0.25 is kind of the way to go. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, you can also use it for wrapping and weaving as well, yeah. but it's definitely a lot easier for more delicate pieces. More delicate pieces, the more decorative look. So uh, that's really lovely. If you kind of want to finish off your pieces and don't want to use a million gemstones in it, wire work, definitely the way to go. And it's got a lovely shimmer on it because it's copper. And it's a hundred metres. <laughs> then going, I can't even run that far. <laughs> I tried, got halfway and given up. Um, that literally, and, and when I, 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 you saying that, I actually do like look at these and go 100 metres and I do sort of revert back to school and thinking stood at the, I, I quite like, I was always a sprinter so I quite like it. But the sort of, as the, the length that you're going in 100 metres, standing at that start line and looking all the way down to the finish line, this is this is going to be enough for all of that. That is that is going to be all of that. So that's an incredible, incredible amount, and we're getting three. Yeah. So we're getting the 0.25 for decorative work. That 100 meters worth. Then we're getting 0.6 millimeters of the magenta and purple, which looks beautiful actually. That purple and pink, that really bright pink colour looks fabulous. And then we've got the bronze and copper, which has got a lovely kind of um, glisten to it. 
And also, like, if you put these together, because it's obviously the bronze and copper, that looks lovely. Really nice. So they should be 1885. That's where you should be for them. So if you bought them all separately, these are really unusual. I've been on here a few times. I've never seen twisted wires. That's really nice. That's a bit, little bit unusual. So that's lovely. So it should be 1885. And we've gone all the way down to 1295. There we go. 1295. We've got a beautiful vintage twist, including that beautiful antique bronze and copper. Um, the lovely magenta and purple, which is really bright. Um, but actually, I think these look nice together as well because you've got that very sort of antique look really lovely the bright and vibrancy of the purple that wonderful kind of coppery bronze color and the fact that this standing at the beginning of that 100 meter line ready all the way down and you can take the wire all the way with you I just think that's an amazing amount amazing amount and the fact that it is so decorative and so easy to use when it's like that uh, you obviously want the larger sort of the larger gauge to be able to create structure and then all that delicate sort of artwork inside it is going to be from this should be at 18.95 and we're at 12.95 that is for three of these three of these 120 meters of wire all together for just 12.95 12.95 that is amazing 120 meters for just 12.95 yeah that's incredible all that sort of artwork that you can do in there the wonderful colors from this one and the fact that they're twisted as well they look beautiful together really really lovely and saves you doing it let's be honest saves you doing it uh so there we go that was all that wonderful wire there we are i'm going to pop that back in the arm um uh ooh, ooh. oh lovely yeah so we did have some of this oh that's so nice we did have some of this in the um, in the bundle, but we have got some more here. So if you want to add to it, and you want different sizes and sort of all faceted, and and you are going for a very kind of autumn look, I think Mukai is perfect for this time of year. Absolutely perfect because it goes from those lovely kind of creamy vanilla colours through to that sort of burnt yellow. We've got gorgeous kind of red colours. We've got wonderful, wonderful chocolate colours. And I just think it's beautiful. And could you be any more apt for the season that is about to sort of descend upon us? Which actually upsets me a little bit because I'm <laughs> such a summer lover, I love it. But I literally, I've got a jumper and a coat now with me here instead of just one or the other. So <laughs> Ella's like, my boots are coming out and everything. Um, so there is sort of slowly but surely approaching. So if you want to get yourself ready and you want to sort of have, I always think these sort of warming colors look great with like a roll neck jumper and you see all these love, love all kind of all jewels. You put the heating on yesterday, did you? My mum would say, just put another jumper on. <laughs> what? No, I love it. Um, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, it has got chilly, hasn't it? It has got chilly. But with that comes beautiful kind of roll neck jumpers, cardigans, that sort of stuff, and these beautiful colours. So those wonderful kind of amber colours. We've got sort of mustardy yellows. We've got vanilla. We've got kind of that chocolate colour coming through as well. So absolutely perfect for autumn. We've got 70 carats worth. And if you are sort of creating designs with all these wonderful colours, but you need sort of different sizes, uh, we've got two up four millimetres and that smaller one at three millimetres. So perfect to sort of use all of those in designs. If you want to use that same gemstone, um, but also want to use it at sort of different sizes. So that's perfect too. 70 carats worth, 70 carats worth. Uh, really beautiful, beautiful colours. All right, we should be at 14.85. Is that what you're saying, Helena? We should be at 14.85. This is three strands for you, three strands. If you were to buy them separately, that would be your price. But no, not today. Wow, 9.85. Nine pounds and 85 for your beautiful Mooka. 70 carats worth, 70 carats worth. A really beautiful gem, like I say, with vanillas, with mustards, with chocolate colors coming through as well. Those beautiful reds, it is absolutely perfect for autumn absolutely perfect so if you are sort of making jewelry for you making it for other people uh i just love it and it is such a beautiful beautiful colors uh lots of you coming in now well done to every single one of you i think at 9.85 that's an amazing amazing offer uh, and perfect for the time of year absolutely perfect uh we've got to roll with it haven't we the leaves are going to turn we've got those beautiful kind of burnt orange colors and those wonderful chocolates and why not sort of have jewelry to match that you can make lovely earrings bracelets gorgeous necklaces all with these really kind of warming autumnal colours. Really stunning, really, really beautiful and just perfect. 
just just perfect for all of these that's really beautiful uh yeah perfect 9.85 nine pounds 85 for all of this uh, there's loads there so you're going to get loads and loads of sort of different pieces out of that and if you want to match them up uh, we do have a slightly smaller one as well but they are all fasted so they've got a lovely sparkle on them really lovely sparkle for all of those at 9.85 Woo love them i love all them right i'm gonna pop them back in there i'm not sure where i come from i'm gonna put them in there uh okay we're gonna be back very very shortly and we're doing luxury for less are we oh we're gonna be doing luxury for less see you in a moment All right, welcome back. Welcome back to Designer Inspiration. It's so exciting because I'm, I'm learning so much on here. Every time I come on, I, like, I learn and I love to try and be creative. But uh, sometimes if you don't have the knowledge of how to do it in the first place, you're a bit like, uh, well, I'd love to make this, but I uh, don't really know how. So I love the fact that you sort of bring all that knowledge for us and we sort of give you the, the sort of ability to do that as well, which is really lovely. Uh, all right, we are going to do... Uh, oh, okay, so we've got some, we're going to do luxury for less for you. We're going to bring you some amazing, amazing deals, some beautiful, beautiful gemstones and some crazy offers. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, we have got crazy offers. Oh, I love that colour. Love that colour. So we've got beautiful green onyx, 120 carats worth of green onyx. Uh, they're graduated plain drops from 5x4 to 13 by 7 millimetres, and it is a 17 centimetre strand. And I think all you need to look at really with this beautiful piece is that amazing, amazing colour. Beautiful depth of colour that we're getting with this lovely piece. And how many gemstones are you getting there? So, so many, because they are, yeah, they are literally crammed on. I don't think you could fit any more on there. So although we say a 17 centimetre strand, uh, it's a little bit like two 17 centimetre strands because they are like back to back <laughs> all the way around. 
can see them all there, even the bigger ones as well. All the way around. Uh, amazing how many are getting on there. They literally are cramming them on. So, oh, look at all those colours. Going from those wonderful minty colours through to that beautiful jade in that wonderful green onyx. Now, as I said, they are graduated as well. Beautiful plain drops. So they've got like a, a lustrous sheen over the top of them, which is lovely. Uh, beautiful green colour rolling through from those wonderful kind of minty greens through to that depth of forest green in there as well. Uh, a really pretty. I think you just got to look at the amount that you're getting, actually. 120 carats worth, although it's a 17 centimetre strand, 20, 120 carats worth of this amazing colour. Really, really beautiful. You can use these for so many things. This particular strand is going to go such a long way for you, such a long way. Wonderful colours, uh, beautiful colour at the moment as well with that kind of foresty green coming in. Uh, so really sort of very apt, very sort of right for this sort of season as well. So lots and lots to be able to do with that. 120 carats, don't forget we are doing luxury for less, so hold on. Uh, we don't have very many of these at all, so um, don't hold off. If you do want some of these, these are really, really lovely. Uh, 17 centimetre strand, but that is jam packed. It's just nine pounds and 95 pence. Oh yes, nine pounds and 95 pence. There is so, so so much there look how much is there that is absolutely incredible the colors we've got beautiful mints going through to those wonderful forest greens at nine pounds 95 my goodness me what a stunning gemstone like really really beautiful gorgeous minty greens going through to that depth of color uh, and although i say 17 centimeters so many there Graduated as well, so a very versatile strand because you've got so many of them. There's such a lot you can do with them. This really is luxury for less. Under £10 for all of that green onyx really is incredible. And the fact that they are 5 by 4 to 13 by 7 means that you can do so much with them. Uh, whether you want to sort of make smaller pieces, whether you want to make earrings, whether you want to make pendants, whatever it is that you want to do, maybe make a necklace sort of, sort of incorporates the smaller ones to the larger ones. It's totally up to you whatever you want to do. We give you the tools to be able to do these beautiful pieces and then the creative side is up to you up to you but there's so so much that we can do 120 carats worth at just 9.95 9.95 uh there's lots of people with it in their basket you need to check it out we don't have many at all so i'd hate for you to miss out uh, and like i said there are so many there it's almost really i don't know the way that i'm looking at it is like a double strand really because they are absolutely crammed in there aren't they crammed in just so many beautiful mints. Look at all of those all around there. Almost sort of rolling to a forest green. There's really bright ones in there as well. Which is, I love the fact that they're all a little bit different as well, which sort of gives it a bit of an edge. You're going to make really beautiful pieces with all of that. But we are sort of going from minty greens to forest greens and a beautiful jade colour in there as well. But a jam-packed strand, a jam-packed strand for sure. 120 carats worth for just £9.95. pence. Oh my goodness me. Uh, those wonderful plain drops. And when they aren't faceted, so we're sort of getting like a sparkle get a wonderful kind of glistening sheen over the top which is really really lovely going to look beautiful in whatever pieces of jewelry you make uh, totally up to you either as well because uh, it really is sort of we give you the tools to do it and you create all those wonderful pieces but really really lovely lovely color i love the depth of the forest greens up here wonderful jade and those lovely minty colors down the bottom as well that's a really really pretty piece uh, at nine pounds 95 it's in your basket you gotta check it out you gotta check it out. All right, let's pop that on there. Uh, which which one would you like to do? Ooh, is that this one? Is it? That's really lovely. That's like a subtle yellow colour. Oh, that's nice. Like a kiss of yellow. It is like a sunshine kiss. That's beautiful. Oh, that really that really is lovely. So we've got lemon topaz. They're really, really pretty. And they really are, just look like they've been kissed by the sun. That's lovely. Really, really pretty. Lovely purity in these. And again, the same thing. The fact that they are sort of graduated drops means that you're gonna get sort of so much use out of them. And you can really decide what you want to do with these pieces and create sort of matching sets, which I think is lovely. The fact that you can create that, you can sort of determine what you're gonna make out of these lovely pieces is amazing. Uh, we've got gorgeous golden colors coming through there. Beautiful golden colors. Look at all of them. You've got the purity of the kind of, um, looks almost like a sort of clear white topaz and then rolling through to that beautiful lemony color and then a golden sheen coming through them as well. They are extremely pretty, extremely pretty. Lovely kind of really fresh, but got that vibrant hint to it. 
That's really, really lovely, really lovely. Uh, 110 carats worth, wow. 110 carats worth in those graduated plain jobs. Again, because they aren't faceted, they've got like a beautiful sheen over the top, which is really, really lovely. Um, a beautiful gem, actually. Lovely, lovely sort of purity coming through there, but that lovely, lovely sunshine look to it, like a sunshine kiss to it, is really stunning. Really, really pretty, sort of almost like a glistening look. Um, it's got lovely kind of diaphanity, especially in some of these smaller pieces, allowing the light to sort of jump in the gem and really kind of sparkle as it sort of catches the light. Where the yellow's in there as well, it's got sort of a glistening look. Um, a really, really pretty, almost like a sunshine fleck because it's really lovely. There we are. We've got a 24 centimetre strand and they are graduated at 11.95, 11.95 for all of that. That is loads. There is, look at all of them. Look at all of them. They are a beautiful, beautiful piece. They really do have sort of a lemony, sort of sherbet shimmer to them. Uh, 11.95 for all of those, really beautiful piece. Uh, I love the purity that comes with them as well. And then that beautiful kind of fleck, that kiss of sunshine in them. It's really, really pretty indeed, really pretty. Uh, really lovely. At 11 95 for them. They are lemon topaz. They're graduated plain drops from about 8 by 4 to be able to use, do something with those smaller pieces through to 13 by millimeters uh, to be able to do lots of different things with them. So that's amazing. 11 95. Uh, lovely for lemon topaz. Really, really pretty. I'm just going to put them on there. Woo! All right, let's pop them back on there. Lovely. Okay, now we are going to do these. Now, I have to say, before I, before I worked on here, I had no real idea of the amount of things that you can do with these. Is it all of them? Is it all? Hold on. Wait, there's more. Ah! There we go. Okay. So we, do, we, have the we, we don't have to choose, we can get all of these. Is that right? There's one escaping. Okay, so I thought, I looked at jumbo rings and I just thought they're probably just connectors, which they are, they are. However, when I actually researched it properly, what you can do with jump rings, it's just endless. I think my favorite was chain mail. That, I love that, where you link them all together and it mm. sort of creates that really sort of old fashioned, well, what they used to use for armor. But look at that. I love that. I'm just going to show you this as well. Look at all of them. Okay. The, oh, it's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I love the amount that you can do with them. And that literally is just jump rings, isn't it? That's is literally just jump rings. Look at all of them. It's just like absolutely beautiful kind of workmanship in there. And I just didn't even begin to anticipate how much you could do with them. But there's so, so much, isn't there? There's so much. You've kind of, it looks, I think, don't know if that was a chain, but it looks like if you were to do them with the earrings, you yep. could do jump rings all next to each other and then collect those gemstones at the bottom. Like. Yeah, exactly. And again, they're great for charms. They're, they're an essential, basic finding, again, that everybody needs in their stash because you use them to um, attach your clasps, charms, um, earrings to shepherd hooks sometimes. You can use them as spacers as well if you don't yeah. want to go too mad with them. But like you say, Debbie's Debbie's work in the chain mail is just beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. And I had never I never heard of chain mail. Like I didn't realise that you could make it like it's an art form, I think, the way that you sort of create all these people and the movement in it as well is amazing because they are sort of just jump rings. You know how comfortable that is gonna be. Uh, if you didn't want to sort of do it all the way around, you could just do like a statement piece or bit like a bit just collected around the gym. It's it's totally, totally up to you. But there is so, so much that you can do with these things. They really, really are. Now, ha, huh, okay. So we have got, let's just get this right. So we've got three sets, is that right? Three sets. And it looks like we've got two, wow, look at all of them. So it looks like we've got 200 pieces. In, Got more? No. Okay, so we've got uh, so we've got gold plated. That's lovely, actually. Uh, so there's six mil gold plated, and there's how many of them? So there's uh, so we've got the rose. They're really lovely, aren't they? The rose gold plated. That feminine look is 190, 200. You saying here? Yeah, 200 in there. 
and in silver plated there's 200 as well that's that's a massive amount there's 590 oh of course there is 200 200 190 it's like i'm a maths whiz look at me go there we go uh that is an amazing amount in there the gold plated the silver plated and the rose plated. so there's so much you can do with them yes okay they are practical of course they are you're going to need them because um you want them as connectors you want them to sort of um hold your pieces together maybe you want to loop in for your earring holding whatever it is that you want to do with these practically you're going to need them not only that but you can create beautiful artistry with them as well which i think is amazing considering they're, they're junk rings, but they're just, they're just so essential, aren't they? They're so, so essential to what you need. Uh, and the fact that you're getting 590 of them, I think is incredible. That's an amazing, amazing amount. So they should be 1485. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say that's amazing for 590 of them at 1485. 1480, are you? All right, so we're gonna do a great, great deal for these. They should be at 1485. Wow. Oh, it still says 1485. I'm going to tell you that we're going to 985. Wow. 985 for all of this. This is an amazing, amazing thing because they are findings. You need to sort of have them to stock up. Um, I think even if you have got lots or none, I think these are going to be essential because at 985, I don't think you can ever have too much in your sort of stash to be able to get to, can you? Because I don't know about you, but if I'm sort of in a creative mood, I don't want to then go, oh, I've got to wait four days for it to get there in the post. That'd be rubbish. So you do want to sort of collect these, have them sort of just sat there and waiting. I think at 985, you'll be silly not to grab them, to be honest, especially when you should be paying 1485 for all of these. So we've got the gold plated, the silver plated and the rose gold as well, which I think is really really amazing that we're going to do all of that for 985 when it should be 1485 carol multi-buying well done to you because essential essential to have in your settings essential to have um, there's so so much you can do with them whether you want to make them functional whether you want to make them sort of a creative look upon it as well it's totally up to you whatever you want to do with them maybe you want to use them for something a little bit more i think when you sort of do sort of research and have a look at the amount of things that you can do it is amazing it is amazing all the things that you can do when we should be at 14.85 now is the time to grab them definitely because we have got all those we've got three colors as well it's not like we're just doing sort of one set um, of them and doing bringing them for a great price we're doing three different types so there's so much that you can do to them as well as all those different looks as well so beautiful rose gold plate that i think that's my favorite it's so feminine isn't it really really feminine the silver plated has got that luster and then the warming of the sort of the gold plated as well so all three all three colors there are amazing at just 9.85 when they should be 14.85 that's a great deal a great great deal so uh don't miss out on those because that's that's really incredible yeah there's a few with it in your baskets you do need to check them out i would hate for you to miss out um at just 9.95 you'd be silly too i think silly too oh let's pop that on there all right okie dokie um yes oh 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 they're nice is that right yeah Ooh, this is gorgeous. I'm just going to move this because you can't really see it because it's got amazing colour. Uh, this is beautiful eye light. Uh, it's a really, really pretty gem, actually. Uh, the only gem I think I know that is like a violet colour. Like, you get blues and you get sort of royal blues, you get navy blues. I don't, I mean, I might be wrong. But right now, off the top of my head, I cannot think of another gem that is violet, which I think sort of is unusual all in itself. I think it was the only sort of gemstone you can get in this particular colour. That's lovely, isn't it? Really lovely. You can get blues, but it's not blue. It's definitely violet, uh, which is lovely. And as the light hits it, it's got a beautiful purple colour to it as well. So um, I think that's sort of what makes it really unusual on its own. Uh, really unusual on its own and the fact that it's the only gemstone I can think of I can't I'm just trying to rack my brain if there's another violet one but I don't think there is oh they're, they're, ooh, they're humming in the gallery they're humming no I can't well I can't think of one off the top of my head anyway and if you can then um, 
it's not a very usual colour because it's I'm I'm just trying to think can't actually think of another one. So uh, I think that's beautiful. If you are looking for that sort of violet colour, this is this is the gem to get. I can't think of another one that you would want to get. So um, this is a beautiful gemstone. I love the fact that when it hits the light, it's almost got like a lilac colour in some, almost like a navy flash in others. And as it hits the light, especially these ones down the bottom, they've got a beautiful violet colour. Really, really pretty gemstone really pretty gemstone and if you are looking for a gemstone that's got violet in it which is well i can't think of another one right now um i think that this is definitely the kind of way to go because these is a stunning stunning color they are sort of um they are faceted so they do spark and see it there as it hits the light that's a beautiful luster and sparkle over the top um, and then the fact that they are sort of graduated facets means that you're going to get incredible versatility out of this if you can't get violet in another gemstone, then I think this is the one that you need to grab because we just sort of know that we can do so, so much with it, so much with it, and a real sort of, if you, are, if you can't get violet in another color, you wanna grab all of these, don't you, really? So uh, Anonymous, well done grabbing two of these. I don't blame you because it's got a lovely color. Purpley colors, violet colors coming through there. Wow. That is so beautiful, like a beautiful glitter in there as well. And like I say, you're not gonna find this color in any other gemstone that I can think of right this second. So really lovely to be able to sort of bring that to you. So if you are looking at these pieces um, and you want that beautiful violet color, then, then this is the way to go. This is the gemstone for you because there's no other one that does this color. All right. This one is going to a crazy price. All of those, we've got 150 carats worth at 12.95, 12.95, 12.95 for 150 carats worth of ILI. They are all fasted, so that's sort of incredible artmanship all on its own. At 12.95 for all of that, that is a beautiful, beautiful color, really stunning color. And like I say, if you are looking for a violet, slightly purpley gem, um, verging on that wonderful blue, it's got like a royal blue flash in this one as well. Really, really pretty, pretty gemstone. At just 12.95, 12.95. That is really stunning and really, really unusual to be that color. We don't see them in any other gemstone. Love that. Let's have a look at that. Ooh, yes. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take some of this out if that's all right. I'm gonna take these out. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to tell you now that we don't have very many of these at all. We don't have many. We've only seen them sort of once or twice before. I mean, if you're looking for something to create autumn looks, you cannot get any more perfect than this. You cannot get any more perfect than this. Okay, we have got all these beautiful gemstones. Oh, my goodness. We've got ambers, we've got vanillas, we've got chocolates. We've got, oh, that's a lovely chocolate color down there as well. Oh my goodness, beautiful, absolutely stunning. That is a, look at all of them. They're all drilled as well. They are? Yeah, they are. So, yeah, amazing. So they're all drilled as well so that you can, you can use them. Yeah, they are. Amazing, so you can use them to sort of put wire through and all of that. Um, so they're amazing, amazing color. I'm just gonna show you some of these because these are so beautiful. Right, these are just incredible. I'm gonna keep them in the box because then at least you can see them all. They are lots and lots of different charms. Now maybe uh, you want to sort of use them as charms or maybe, you know when you sort of see if you're sort of wearing maybe sort of a slightly lower sort of drop back dress or something like that, something like this would be amazing attention to detail. You know, if you've got the chain and you sort of have it sort of out the back, you want to sort of not just leave it as just the chain. These would be lovely to attach on the end, maybe just one of these to create sort of a more sort of, it's attention to detail, isn't it? Creating that fabulous look. Uh, these would look perfect on their own as sort of earrings. What else do you think, Hannah, these would be great for? Because we've got lots of them. Well, it's interesting you said about the um, sort of the hanger on the back of the necklace, because I think it was um, one of the guest designers called Sammy who posted a link on her page 
found exactly the same as that little hanger which is used to balance the front of the necklace so yeah. you know when your chain sort of swings around it yeah. keeps it all at the back and it was really 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 expensive like oh, really it? expensive for what it was so you could create these finishing touches out of these and add that designer element to your jewelry yeah. for very little cost yeah and i i think like it's it's just attention to detail and for me attention to detail creates professionalism yeah. and, that, and i just think that's how it is i'm just going to show you because there's more you can see them all there there are four boxes worth and uh we have got oh yeah Wow. Okay, so we've got four boxes worth, each with eight little compartments. We're getting an amazing amount in there, amazing amount in there. We've got uh, lobster coil class, we've got tube spaces, we've got jump rings, we've got crimp tubes, we've got all those wonderful designs of kind of what look like charms, or maybe you want to just put them on a necklace. Maybe you want to have them dropping down the back. I love all that. Not only that, we've got toggle class in there. We've got all your kind of findings for earrings. We have got um, lots and lots in here. Lots and lots. It's like an essential package, an essential, uh, essential package. Uh, I love the fact as well you've got a chain in there. Uh, we've got a chain in there. So it's an autumn collection, and it really is because there's beautiful leaves in here there they really are beautiful these i know these are i just want to show these because i know that these are leaves and because that's what that's what they say they are but i don't know about you don't they look like angel wings at the top i think they're gorgeous really beautiful and they're look at all of these so much there is so much ah oh, the chain is in there there it is, the chain is in there, that's good. Um, so there's lots, there's so much there, so much there. And we have got all these beautiful, beautiful nuggets in here that you can use. I can't get over how much is in this amazing piece. Uh, we've got jump rate, they all match as well. The colour is perfect in all those pieces, absolutely perfect. And the fact that we have got um, all of this in here as well, or oh, is this? Wow, 250 carats worth of your nuggets, wonderful warming, almost like a vibrant orange, all that really autumnal colour from the sort of uh, vanilla through to the reds, through to those gorgeous chocolate colours, and that wonderful gemstones at the top, and they're all drilled as well, they are all drilled, so uh, we really don't have very many of these at all. Now, I don't know about you, but I would imagine that this if you were to sort of buy these, try and buy this or separate, and you're right, if you were to try and buy like a little finding to go on the back um, the back of a necklace or something, you will probably find that they are quite expensive. Yeah. Quite expensive. Oh, 34.95 for all of that. 34.95 for all of that. So you get all those, there are, so, I just need to show you again. Just cause there is so, if I can even hold them all. There is so many in there. Oh wow, look at all of that. All of that in there for 34.95, 34.95. All those beautiful leaves, they're stunning as well. So you get them in pairs as well. So maybe you wanna use them separately, like I think that would be really lovely. Mm. Or uh, maybe you wanna keep them all together. It's totally up to you whether you wanna pair them off. Maybe have them as earrings, put them round on a bracelet, whatever you want to do, they really are stunning. Then you've got your essentials in there. You've got your jump rings, you've got, uh, we've got class, we've got lobster class, all toggle rings, all sorts in there. Loads and loads. And we have also got 200, 250 carats worth of all those beautiful gemstones. I can't believe that's amazing. If you are starting out or if you're just adding to your collection, because I wouldn't imagine that many people have those, all those leaves, all those sort of beautiful designs. So I wouldn't imagine that many people have that yet. So really perfect. And although it is an autumn collection because we've got the sort of warming colors of gemstones, these can be used at any time, any time. Uh, they are amazing. There's just so much, I can't get over how much it is. Let's pop them in there, let's then pop that in there. There we go, ah, oh, I can't get over the amount that we've got in there. That is amazing. Now, we are going to do on this side. Oh, other side, other side, hang on. It's confusing so many things. Oh, it's my favorite. Yeah, I love it, I love it. Um, the thing that I love about this gemstone is that it has got, it has got the most amazing labradorescence. That's the thing I love about this gemstone. Really beautiful. As it catches the light, you get like a full rainbow. And I, I no idea how it happens, 
but it is phenomenal when it happens. It's beautiful, gorgeous greens, blues, golden colors. And I know that it's an incredible popular gemstone on here. Incredible, incredible popular gemstone. So move that, look at that catching all those golden colors. Beautiful blues. Yeah, I understand that you actually have a bit of a poll to see which is your favorite gemstone. And I do believe actually that uh, Labradorite has won two years on the trot. Yeah, go you Labradorite. Uh, amazing. Look, I just want to spin this. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I don't know if you can catch it. Hope you can because it is amazing in there. Oh, that's such a shame because it actually is amazing here. Oh, there we go. See the top of it there. It's really difficult, I think, because all the lights come from sort of this this way and you're looking at it this way. You do lose a lot of it. I'm seeing an amazing amount in there, like an amazing amount. Look, you can see that there at the top. Uh, and that's what I'm seeing, the bit that you're seeing at the top, because that's where the light is catching it from your, where you can see it. That's what I'm seeing, like, in every single one, all over these amazing gems. You can see them in, ah, oh, yes. Wonderful blues, gorgeous golden colors. Um, it's called Labradorescent. I think it's an amazing phenomena. It's so, so cool. And it really does, when it catches the light, that's almost like an electric blue, a beautiful turquoise, gold. We literally roll through from all those rainbow colors. Really amazing. And they are all faceted as well. So each facet is going to catch a different bit of the color, which I think is pretty cool as well, as it sort of spins and turns in the light. They are massive as well. You can see it down here on that bottom one. There, oh, there it goes. Yeah. There it is. And I am seeing that. It's just that we've managed to catch the light properly so you can see it. But uh, I am actually seeing sort of loads of that on every single one of the gemstones. Don't just think that we're getting it on that one. You were there, you see it on there as well down there. Beautiful golden colors, wonderful blues and turquoises. I just love it. I think, and up here. Yeah, just beautiful. I love that. There is so much of it, 190 carats worth. Um, I do love the fact that they are sort of, um, that sort of, uh, those beautiful sort of nuggets, a little bit of a rough nugget actually, because when you sort of encase them in silver and make that they sort of have their own kind of quirky look, they're a real statement piece. And I love the fact that they don't all, they're not all uniform, they don't all match up. I think it's lovely that they are a little bit different. And the difference is that wonderful, wonderful color, isn't it? Amazing color that you get off that gorgeous gemstone the way that it catches the light look at that oh yeah uh, it is so so beautiful We've got 190 carats worth of it i know how popular this gemstone is on this channel it really is and i just think it's um it, 10.95 10.95 for all of that an 18 centimeter strand beautiful and i do love the way it catches look at it oh yeah beautiful golds turquoises it's one of my favorites and i have to say when we make this when we have this as jewelry on the other channels it flies out it absolutely flies out and the reason that it's so popular is because of all that amazing color that you get when it catches the light so phenomenal it looks like a really dark depth of gemstone all on its own to start with and then that incredible labradorescence that comes out afterwards beautiful greens blues turquoises it almost glitters as well when the light sort of jumps in the gem it almost look at that gold over there it literally glitters and every single one of these gemstones are picking it up it's hard to sort of show you every single one because of the way the light is but it really is so so beautiful so so perfect that is lovely at 10.95 love that woo love that there we go let's pop that back in there oh yeah oh that's pretty that's almost like a honey color that's lovely this is specitite garnet that's really pretty uh really really lovely gemstone actually really really lovely and this has got almost like a yeah like a a gorgeous kind of golden color to it really beautiful Lovely, lovely golden color. 80 carats worth of Specerite Garnet. Uh, like I say, a really gorgeous gemstone all on its own. It really is stunning. And I love the way that it's got that kind of golden look to it. Really gorgeous. Um, it's not often seen in jewelry, actually. Um, and we're only starting to see it more because they found more deposits about 1990, I think. Um, so unusual to see this gemstone uh, but beautiful that we are seeing more of it because it is really pretty it's like it got like a beautiful kind of ambery burnt orange color really sort of lovely very warming very warming gemstone uh, as I said we're lucky to sort of see so much of it because we only sort of started to fit it into jewelry um, about look at that looks like honey oh, that's so lovely or like amber 
Yeah, really pretty gemstone, really gorgeous. And like I said, we don't, we haven't sort of seen a lot of this previously um, because they only sort of recently sort of found more deposits and the more we sort of saw of it, the more they could sort of fit it into jewellery. So uh, not a gemstone that's been around forever, certainly, certainly not. Um, so uh, sort of a, a one of our newer gemstones and what a gorgeous piece it is. As it hits the light, it's got like a sort of golden shimmer over the top of it as well, which is lovely. Again, with those rough nuggets look really lovely and they're all graduated as well. And they really do sparkle. Really Really warming colour on that. 80 carats worth of your Specerite garnet. Those small nuggets, four by two to 11 by eight, a 25 metre strand. I love that. Wow, at just 7.95. Seven pounds 95. We are indeed doing luxury for less. I've told you it's quite a rare gemstone because we haven't seen it before. Uh, 1990 was sort of the first time we started to see it in jewelry. So uh, not one that you'll have seen for a lot of years and years and years. No, there's not gonna be lots of it around. So if you are sort of after these pieces and you do wanna grab unusual pieces, not sort of something that we'll see in every single shop, definitely not, uh, because a gemstone that's sort of only been fitted into jewelry since 1990. Uh, 80 carats worth of your special right garnet, over just seven pounds 95 pence seven pounds and 95 pence really pretty lovely really warming gorgeous gem all right all right there we go oh other way uh oh right i saw these earlier and i was like these are so cute they're so yeah perfect beautiful okay I'm going to show you this because this is really gorgeous, really bright and vibrant, isn't it? Oh, that's like a lemon colour. It reminds me of kind of like lemon sherbet. That's lovely. Uh, then we've got, there we go, let's pop that on there. And then that one on there. Oh, that's got a nice cooling colour. Let's pop that on there. And then we've got these. Now, these are beautiful. Now, we did sort of say... Uh, We've got beige shell pearls, we've got ice blue shell pearls, we've got light green shell pearls and then the orange shell carved flowers. Um, I think these are really beautiful. You know when you sort of introduce um, children and young adults to kind of gemstones? Mm -hmm. um, I think this is sort of a really lovely way to do it with these sort of pieces. Like really lovely to sort of have that sort of design a bit bit more of a fun look and and that sort of stuff which i think is lovely if you are introducing sort of um younger adults straight away to sort of gemstones and sort of jewelry and pieces like that so wow really lovely that we can bring you all of that oh, i love this color it says it's beige but oh, i love that color that's almost like a like a lemon sherbet just gorgeous uh, amazing then we've got the ice blue which is really cooling uh, then we've got the light green which is lovely and then we have got those orange shell carved out flowers really pretty really bright and gorgeous gemstone actually uh, that kind of orangey color is really really fitting looks lovely with the blue really lovely with the blue uh, maybe you sort of want to sort of create little earrings or maybe a ring oh let's have a look maybe we could create a ring with them oh yeah Oh, that would be lovely. With matching drop earrings. How cute. Really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. We've got, uh, it's called Tropical Shores, which is very apt, isn't it? Tropical Shores, inclusive of these really gorgeous paradise flowers and all these wonderful, wonderful pearls. Now, these are indeed, of course, ooh, these are indeed, of course, sort of like, um, they're still with that elegant look because they are, they are those kind of, um, carved out shells but you know what they are um they have got that really bright sort of look to them something a little bit different i'm loving this sort of what i'm going to call lemon color i love that lemon color that's beautiful they look lovely with it they look lovely together they're kind of icy blue colors beautiful lovely lemons rolling through and i love these flowers whether you want something a little bit more fun uh to make sort of jewelry with a little bit more fun they would lovely earrings wouldn't they uh, lovely, lovely earrings for a really tropical look. Really tropical look. Okay, they should be eighteen pounds and eighty pence altogether, but we are doing luxury for less, and we've cut, encased them all together for you. So we've bundled them all together for you. These are going to be beautiful. We should be at eighteen eighty. Should be eighteen eighty. Don't forget. And we're going to take it to twelve pounds eight for all four. For all four, so £12.80 for all four of these. Um, a massive amount that you could do with them, isn't it? Absolutely massive that you could do with them. Uh, I love that you're, I, look at you doing the maths in there. It's like, uh, £3.20. <laughs> I 
I'm very impressed that, yes, you are right. It is £3.20. I'm impressed. Sort of. Love it. Uh, <laughs> So £3.20 for each strand is amazing. The amount that you can get out of each and every single one of these is phenomenal. They're incredibly long strands. £12.80 for all four, all four that look beautiful together. Maybe you want to mix them up. Maybe you want to sort of put them with other ones that you bought today. Lovely with any kind of wire work, wonderful kind of drop earrings, whatever it is that you want to do with them. We're giving you the ability to do it at £12.80. £12.80, yes, indeed, you're right. £3.20 per strand, well done. Uh, yes, just £3.20 per strand. I'm just thinking the amount that you could do with that is really quite phenomenal, to be honest with you. Uh, tropical shawls, inclusive of your orange shell carved flowers. We've got light green shell pearls, which I think look more lemon. The ice blue, the wonderful beige colour as well. Um, an amazing amount they can do with them. I love that we've got those bright colours. And then we've also got the sort of more sort of calming colours underneath with that ice blue and that wonderful kind of beigey cream colour, which is really nice. So, so much you can do with them. If you want to put them together, which is nice as well. These look lovely together, I think, because you've got that really bright colour and then sort of calming it down with that wonderful beige. So a really nice mix and a real nice sort of group of different things for you. £12.80 for all four. £12.80 for all four. Uh, yes, well done for the maths. £3.20 per strand. I think that is incredible. Absolutely incredible to do all of those for £12.80. Lovely colours. Really lovely colours. Now there's a few of you there with it sat in your baskets. You do need to check it out because we don't have very many and I would hate for you to miss out. Uh, so if it's sat in your baskets, check it out because this is amazing. £12.80 for all it. I'm just going to show you like how long this one is because, okay, so I'm just going to see if this will go all the way around. I think it will. Yeah, it will. Touching at the back, yeah. Touching at the back. And I would imagine probably that sort of you were saying so for a sort of a, a faux pearl necklace, you'd probably be paying about £15. So £12.80 is already a great deal for one. But we're not bringing you one, we're bringing you four. Um, so a, a, a massive, massive, massive amount of these beautiful gemstones here. Really, really stunning at £12.80. Lots of you with it sat in your basket. Do check it out because that's, that really is an amazing deal. We should have been, where at 1880. 1880 and instead we're at, at 1280. So if you were sort of thinking, oh, I'll come back. When you sort of go to buy these all individually, you are going to be looking at 1880. So an amazing saving for you, an amazing saving now at 1280, 1280 instead. Um, incredible saving, and they are really are beautiful. These oranges are great, aren't they? Really, really pretty. Uh, and like I say, they sort of are sort of calming it down slightly with these wonderful ice blue and the creamy colour, and then that wonderful I'm going to call it sherbet lemon. Oh yeah. Beautiful, love all that. If you do have them in your basket, you need to check them out because that's a great, great offer for you, great offer. Uh, all right, which number would you like to do? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Woo. So many with it in your baskets. Do check it out because that's a great deal. Would hate for you to miss out on them. Really great, great value there. Uh, ooh. That's nice. Okay. And, yeah. Fab, okie dokie, right. Let's have a look at these. So we've got um, we've got a twisted uh, twisted silver and gold colour copper wire, which is lovely actually. Um, so let's have a look at this one. This is beautiful. It's got like the silvery gives it like a fresh look, really fresh look. Um, these are 0.8 millimetres, 0.8 millimetres. Now, uh, so 2.8 when it's twisted together. Yeah, 2.8 when it's twisted together, so each one is individually 0.8. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, so, uh, lovely, yeah. And that is 10 metres worth, 10 metres worth. So that's, that's quite a substantial amount. Um, I do love that actually when it's twisted because it gives it a slightly different look to sort of normal wire and saves you from doing it as well. Because you imagine sitting there twisting it all. That sort of um, sends you there right in a pack all on its own, already done for you. And like I say, the sort of silver and gold colours really look really fresh, but kind of the warming colour from the gold as well. That's lovely, loving that. Then we have got uh, a gauge of one millimetres. Now, this is 10 metres as well. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but even in the one millimetre, you can still do structure and decorative. Is that right? Yeah, you can do both. You can still one. do both. So this is a really, really versatile mm -hmm. wire gauge to be able to use, which is lovely. Uh, 
there we go so uh 10 meters there 10 meters there that's a gold colored wire uh, and then we have got a gauge of 1.25 so that's more that's more structural is that right yeah it's a little bit more structural um, obviously if you're looking sort of findings the optimum is about 8.8 to 1 and then you can work upwards of there for structured bangles or necklaces yeah. So sort of 0.8 is more of the the direct in between, mm -hmm. um, but then but still in the one millimeter you can still yeah. do an awful lot well, with it structural or decorative. So that's nice. Uh, and then the 1.25, which is definitely structure, isn't it? Yes, it is. Definitely yeah. structure. So you can make amazing, amazing pieces. Um, it is it is uh, Gemma, isn't it, that makes all that kind yeah. of wire work? I've worked with her before, and she makes some of the most amazing pieces. And I think that all you need, and once you warm it up, it's so malleable, and you can do so much with it that I just think being able to have all these different gauges and all these different types, it, you need to add to your collection so that you can do all these different things. You want the structure, and then you want that sort of smaller gauge to be able to do all that kind of decorative work with. So you really do need to sort of. Um, increase your collection with all of these so because we are putting them together we are going to do an amazing amazing deal for these uh, we have got a uh, glamorous gold inclusive of a 10 meter twisted silver and gold colored copper wire 10 meters of your gold colored copper wire one in one millimeter gauge and one in 1.25 um, both well, in fact all of them in 10 meters so we're giving you 30 meters of all of these 30 meters of all of these um, that's an incredible incredible look to them and i love the fact that these are going to match as well so if you want to do more structural work and then add them together to do all that kind of um more sort of decorative but still with a structural feel so if you are doing more sort of um statement pieces I think the one millimetre for decorative is perfect, isn't it? Yeah, it is, definitely, because you can do wrapping with it, you can wrap around gemstones, make rings from it as well. It's a perfect gauge for that. Yeah, so especially if you're doing, like, sort of, um, yeah, real statement pieces, so beautiful for all of that. Three gorgeous reels there. 11.95, 11.95. Just out of curiosity, what might you pay for one, do you know? Thank you, if you could. That's lovely. So 11.95 for all of those. So if you were to buy them separately, the whole lot would have been 18.95. 18.35, so 18.35 for all three would have been the actual price. So we've made you a massive saving there. Um, almost seven pounds, almost seven pounds that we're gonna save you there. And all of those. So the 1.25, this particular one is how much? Okay, so 7.95 on its own. 7.95 on its own so for an extra four pounds we are giving you two more which i think is amazing you couldn't buy these for two pounds could you definitely not definitely not so one on their own the 1.25 should be 7.95 all on its own 7.95 all on its own but instead of that we've created a lovely bundle for you we've sort of put them all together we can do you a great buy at 11.95 11.95 for all three like I say, if you are making kind of statement pieces, you are making those wonderful, wonderful kind of uh, structural pieces. If you want the one millimetre, that's perfect. It's a bit more malleable. You can do a bit more with it, but still got that structural feel, which I think is just perfect for all of that. Lovely twisted wire as well, which is beautiful. Gives it a fresher look. If you sort of look at the compare the two there, if you compare the two, that's got a real kind of lovely luster off it because of that wonderful kind of silvery look in it as well. Um, really, really pretty, pretty piece, this one. Uh, I really love that. So silver and gold and copper wire. Uh, yeah, really lovely. And all 10 meters. So 10 meters, 10 meters, 10 meters, all for 11.95. So uh, amazing. And as we said, the 1.25 should be 7.95 on its own. So uh, a lovely saving there. Lovely saving for all three. I uh, love when we sort of bundle them all together because we can do you great deals. So definitely if you've got them and they're sat in your baskets you do need to check them out because uh, otherwise you will miss out you're going to miss out on these sort of deals and that would be really awful really awful uh, amazing 11.95 for all of those 11.95 that's so cool I love them. That's amazing. Uh, well done to every single one of you there. If you have got it sat in your basket, um, then you need to do do need to check it out. You do need to check it out. Uh, well done to every single one of you that is there. Congratulations. I love them. That's an amazing saving for you. An amazing saving. Uh, if you have got it in your basket, um, do do check it out. Because like we said, if you are looking at more structural pieces, you're able to do kind of uh, artistry work with this piece as well, which is lovely. And that I've never seen anything like that before. So it's got a nice fresh look to it. So yeah, 
Love that. 11.95 uh, for all of that instead of 18.35. So that's lovely. Cool. Let's pop them on there. Uh, I'm just going to pop them back in here. And we're going to do... Oh, lovely. Really pretty gemstone. I think just because it's so regal and so royal. Is it your birthstone? Lovely. Lovely. And it is got incredible depth of colour. Look how beautiful that is. That's a really, really pretty gem, isn't it? Really pretty gem. And it, and it screams to me royal, regal looks. Put this with kind of um, golden wiring and those colours really just have that very sort of regal look to them. I think it's the depth of colour that you're getting on every single one of these. It really is beautiful sparkle because of all those facets. They each do have amazing sort of facets on them, so they really are sparkling. So if you're going to put these into jewellery, they're going to look lovely, aren't they, with all that kind of wonderful glitter across the front of them. Really, really pretty gemstone. We've got 80 carats worth. 80 carats worth of your amethyst. And they are graduated as well, so that's lovely. So they are slightly smaller on the ends than they are in the middle. Um, wonderful, wonderful colour. It's an 18 centimetre strand, 18 centimetre strand beautiful sparkle coming off there i love when the light hits it because they really really sparkle uh, and like i say it's a, quite a treasured gemstone that's why it does look so regal because it's always sort of used in um in kind of sort of high-end jewelry which has that kind of look to it so uh, uh that really is something stunning a really sort of sought after gemstone and really sort of wonderful coloring going to work with um silver or gold look as well going to work with either the silver or the gold look and got lovely lovely facets on it really beautiful like i say an incredible royal gemstone really really pretty uh, i think it's the a depth of color that you get from it really sort of wonderful um what 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 do you think you could do with these what sort of all the things that you could do you could make goodness anything you anything. can make cufflinks earrings cascade earrings big beady beads to make a feature out of them you can do anything because it's such a versatile um shape and cut this yeah kind of that's it isn't it and yeah. i i love that they're drilled as well so it means that they're just easy to use yeah. aren't they you don't have to worry about necessarily encasing them that's quite intricate work isn't it to sort of encase gemstones yeah it is these are easy accessible you can make lovely tiara pieces out of these and they're really lovely colour as well. Yeah, they are a gorgeous mm. colour. It's a depth of colour, I think, that is, you really need to look at on that. Really, really pretty. We have got 80 carats worth of amethyst. One of your precious gemstones. We see this a lot in jewellery, a lot in jewellery. So it's a really lovely, lovely gem. Really, really pretty indeed. An 18 centimetre strand. Look at all of that. Going through those kind of lilac-y colours through to that real beautiful depth of purple. Really, really pretty gemstone. 80, I'm just going to move them around so you sort of grab all that real sparkle on those facets. Woo! Really, really pretty gem. Really gorgeous gem. It's the regal feel. It's that intensity of colour. And as you said, there is. this is so versatile. The amount that you could do with this is incredible. Um, from earrings to bracelets to necklaces uh, to anything at all that you would like to, like to do with these. These are the, sort of the perfect sort of uh, shape to be able to do all that. Really beautiful sparkle as they come across as well. Um, 1870, 18 centimetre strands should be at 14.95, but we're not doing that for you today. No, this is luxury for less, luxury for less. So we should be at 14.95, and we're going to take this to 10.95 instead. Oh yeah, 10,095 beds for 80 carats of amethyst. 80 carats of amethyst. Um, I'm going to tell you how popular this is in jewellery. Incredibly, incredibly popular. Uh, we see it sort of, um, I see it on a daily basis and I have to say it's incredibly popular to people. It really is like a really sort of stunning gemstone, incredible depth of colour uh, and lovely sparkle over those facets. This, if you are a seller of jewellery, this is going to be incredibly popular. £10.95 for all of that. £10.95, a wonderful, wonderful gem, incredibly coloured beautiful depth of colour and loving through those violety colours through to that wonderful depth of purple really really pretty at just 10.95 10.95 this is 80 carats worth of amethyst 80 carats worth of amethyst uh, it's an incredible incredible amount it really really is and i have to say that it's so so popular and i think because of the depth of colour because of the beauty of the gemstone it does have amazing clarity as well which uh, uh, sort of allows the gemstone to sparkle inside which is really pretty and because it's so looked after as it's created by mother nature at just 10.95 a day that is an amazing amazing offer i love all that so well done if you are them there's a few in your basket so if you've got them in your basket you need to check it out oh i'm excited to see what you've done wow oh my goodness me 
You've literally got your own stall going. Yeah. You know, get, get, them in. Get, them, get them in, have a look, buy them. It, these are amazing. But it just goes to show, I mean, I haven't used all the gemstones either, so it goes to show how you much haven't. you can make. No, 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 I put the rest down there, but there was probably about half a strand of each strand left. So for all three strands that we gave you, and you've made all of this, mm -hmm. you've still got at least half of it left. Yes. So half of every strand is left. Yeah, pretty much. And it's not like you've sort of, stinged on it at all <laughs> like it's not like you've gone oh I'll, I'll just put one in and that's why i've got so many left no we've got all look how cute they are love them <laughs> uh, the fact that you've used loads in there and in this one as well yep all the way around and, and that's still... a lovely set to match yep. and wow it just goes such a long way and i think it was just fun trying to create lots and lots of different versions of earrings to try and show that as well that is amazing you have made so much and you've still got half left yeah that half left and i love this color it's sort of beautiful isn't it very warming i love this raspberry color yeah that's such a fun color and like yeah. you said it goes all through the seasons as well i mean yeah. you can imagine that team of gold and green for christmas yeah but it works just as well for now i think so yeah i would wear that I would wear that. Watch out, that one might be gone. <laughs> um, but really, really beautiful. And like you said, like if you're starting with earrings, mm -hmm. um, it's a really good way because they are so quick and they are so easy that you're going to sort of achieve a lot, mm. like here, <laughs> uh, in a really short space of time, which is yeah. amazing. But the fact that you've used so many of those gems, so, so many of those gems to create all of this, but you still have loads lots left. left over. Yeah, lots left over. If I'd had probably time, I would have done a couple of necklaces out of that as well. Wow. And they look, I, I don't know about you, but because we've, because we've given you three strands of it, it if you were to have this on a stall, mm -hmm. I, I think that this is so gorgeous all together because the colours sort of really complement each other and really work together yeah, so nicely. It makes it look like a collection, like a it range, does. doesn't it? Yeah, jewelry. it really does. Oh, you've done so well, I love it. <laughs> and it's not, and they're not difficult to do. No, they're really, really, really simple. It's uh, simple beading and threading for the bracelets themselves. Yeah. A little bit of work involved in sort of twist design yeah. on the bracelets. And again, all the earrings, rather than just being eye pins and things, these are all wrapped loops as well. So wow. a little bit more work involved in those. But once you get into a rhythm, once you get into a routine, very, very quick and easy. And once you've got kind of the know-how, then yeah. it, and it's not difficult to do? It's not difficult to do as well. The findings we use are, are copper finding I've used on these, yeah. but it's, it's more of a soft copper, so it's quite malleable and quite easy to twist and, and manipulate Lovely. as well. Lovely. It's so amazing. And yeah, so these these are head pins, are they, that you've sort of put round and then wrapped round the next yep, one? Yeah, two little and... wrap loops, slipping the chain in as I wrap the loop, just yep. to continue the, the design. And we that. have done, we've done amazing deals on some of these pieces. We have done all that wire stuff. We've also done all these sort of gemstones. The fact that we did these as a collection, there's a few of you now grabbing them as well. I don't blame you. When you can see the amount that you can do with them, and we still had half of that left is just, it's amazing, I think. The amount that you can do with it, beautiful earrings, and we've got them all the way around. Like I say, it's not like you've just used like one or two. Mm -hmm. You have used all of them. I've loved today. Oh, Thank you so much. Fun. It's Thank been you. so much fun. I've learned so much already about Perspex and all the different things that we can do. Um, so I thank you very much. It's been Thank really fun, me. really fun. I hope that you've learned as much as I have, if you didn't know. Uh, we have got Ali and Mark coming up on The Late Show. Don't go anywhere. They'll be joining you very, very shortly. Thank you very much, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye. Tune into The Late Show on Sunday, the 24th of August for our Myths and Legends show. Join presenter Ali and guest designer Mark as they focus on the history of gemstones and tell some of the legendary stories that surround some of the world's most precious gems. Jewelry Maker are having a web exclusive sale on 95 sterling silver. Head over to our website now and take advantage